All right, everybody jumping in. Everybody jumping in. This is so good, so good, so good. All right, guys. Thanks, everybody, for coming in. Look at the numbers jumping. This is going to be amazing. Leo, welcome aboard as a brand new enterprise client, man. Great to have you with us. So good. Stacy, fantastic to see you. This is going to be so much fun. Wow. Hi, John. How are you doing? Wow, this is so good, you guys. Terry's here. Hey, Terry, good to see you. Who else have we got here? Kate is in the house. Patrick's in the house. Kevin's here. Todd's here. Wow, guys, this is amazing. Don is in the house. Nate's coming in as well. This is so good, you guys. All right. Welcome to this very techie session. I'm just going to ask everybody to mute uh, unless you've got uh, a question in which ties you. You can. Let's see if I can get everybody to mute there. All right. All right. Thanks, everyone. Um, so I am going to invite questions at which time you can unmute and jump straight on, but um, we are going to be flying through. Now, in full disclosure, uh, unfortunately, uh, I had a family tragedy yesterday, which took me completely offline. Um, and I messed my times up. So I'm thinking our training starts at 7am my time. So I set my alarm for 4.30, giving myself enough time to get everything ready. And then I saw Kyle's email coming out, reminding everybody that the training was actually on at 5am my time, and which gave me approximately 18 minutes to get this ready. Yay. So I do apologize. Um, yesterday was a very, very tough day for the family. But we are going to go through today on this call. So, uh, yeah, thank you. Um, what we're going to do on this call is go through how to set up this magic between white label suite lead generation and the uh, the data that you can get out of there and Closebot working together so that the, that data goes into Closebot. So we're going to show you all the way through. And you guys, uh, you feel free to take notes, feel free to get through. Um, I'm going to be putting everything onto a Google Doc and then sharing that Google Doc with you guys uh, right at the end. So um, what I was going to do is have it all on nice slides with branding and all that kind of stuff, but you're just going to get the raw nuts and bolts, okay? So, um, and at the end, you're going to get a Google Doc. It's going to have all of our prompts on there, which makes the world go round. You're going to get our knowledge base, so you can load that up, and that's what makes Closebot work. Benji, amazing to see you as well. Um, we are going to give you everything, give you the whole lot, and then show you how it works together. So, there's a couple of pieces. Oh, sorry, everyone. Hi. Um, thanks so much for joining us. What have we got? 56 people in the call here. This is so cool. You guys are, are tech heads. You've turned up for a techie session. This is great. I love this. I love this. Um, I'm probably going to be asking Kyle for a whole bunch of stuff during this call as well, just to make sure I fill in the gaps of anything that I've missed. Um, and Kyle, as you know, man, I shout you out loud and proud. You are amazing and we love you so much. So let's jump in. Um, so what I'm going to be covering off, there are, as I said, a couple of different pieces that make this system work together. And if you've got any specific questions, please ask them, drop them into the chat box. Um, let me know. Um, the things that are, that are specific for you, I am going to, um, so this is as far as I got on my slides, as I said, uh, let me share my screen. It is going to keep me, uh, on path, but if I click on here and go share my screen, you'll see exactly how far I got on my slides, which is that the outline. Okay. Um, and I've got it all onto it, starting on a Google doc, uh, right behind this slide as well, but what we need to cover. So these are the, these are the things that make this system work together, okay? So we're gonna be talking about our prompts and that's a really important piece at the beginning. Um, hey, thanks guys, I, did, I hadn't checked the check the chat. Thanks everybody for the for the thoughts, appreciate it. Um, thank you. So we're gonna, we're gonna cover our prompts and I've copied and pasted them already into the Google Doc. So you don't need to scramble as you see them, all right? The prompts make our white label suite, the leads tool, which you already have, makes them gather the data in a way that then makes sense for Closebot. Then we're going to talk about that data going into GHL, which we we uh, are going to cover. We know that that's just a one click, but we want to make sure that we show you how that works. Then there's a really important piece here. Uh, and I've just made my note. It says form, email with link. That means when we're sending out approaches to people, we need to make sure that when they click on the link, it's identifying them so that when they get to the form to interact, Closebot knows who's they, who they are. I'll talk about that in a second. Then I'm going to show you the Closebot structure itself. We're literally just going to open up Closebot. 
I'm going to show you the exact way that we build it. I'll take a whole bunch of screenshots of the bot builds itself. And in Closebot, this will be kind of a lot of copy and paste, but in Closebot, there's every single step of the, of the system is a tiny mini prompt. So I'm going to be copying those as we go onto that Google Doc. So you'll have it all at the end. Okay. And then um, I'm going to be talking about the three bots that we build to make this system work. And those bots are the sales, the follow-up and the service. Then I'm going to be sharing the prompts and the knowledge base and the GHL automations. So buckle in, it's going to be a lot of tech. Um, this is being recorded and we're going to break it down into probably bite-sized, smaller videos at the end. Um, but cool. Hopefully that uh, is going to get you guys started with um, with this whole system. So just recapping for one second as we start for those who are who are brand new, um, what we're looking to achieve is a system where we can generate those leads with um, research already done, client information already in place, and then we're going to engage that client and let Closebot do the qualification and selling for us. And the Closebot system already knows about the client. And that's where the magic really happens. So uh, for the guys, who's seen us demo this already? Who's seen us demo the, yep, cool. Okay, great. Um, so this is, this is what we're looking to achieve at the end. Um, and for a couple of people, so Dave, I know that you've just picked up the enterprise version. A couple of people saying, I've only got the free version of Closebot. That's cool. Oh, oh, and by the way, um, so Closebot, have done us a bit of a favor and they've said, I'm going to show you how to build it. But they've also said, if you let them know that White Label Suite sent you, that Walt from White Label Suite sent you and um, give them the bot numbers, which I'll give to you as well, um, they will just copy and paste the bots into your account. All right. So, whoa, it's just like a snapshot in GHL. It's like, holy moly, I've got everything I need. How did that happen? It's magic. But it's not as quite as easy as a snapshot in GHL where you just click a button. With uh, Closebot, they've said you just need to let them know the bot number and they'll take care of it for you. And it might take 12, 24 hours. But it's important to know how this is done, why it's done. Um, so I am going to be going through the steps so that you can do it yourself. So in terms of the free bots, uh, in terms of the free system with Closebot, the free system only allows you to have one bot. I think no, three. Only allows you to have three bots. And Bryce asked me, of the three, if they want to use two for something else, which one of the bots is the most important? And I said, this particular one, it's 17444, I think. And um, they will um, make sure that they copy just that one in for you. So um, Warren's in the house. Hey, guys, great to see you. All right. So that's what's going to happen. Um, does anybody want to recap of the system working before we start so that we can see the whole picture? Yep. Kevin says, yes. Okay, cool. All right. One bot in the free version. Okay. Robert says, yep, cool. All right. So what we're going to do is demo this working. So we're going to say, okay, why is this cool? Why am I here? Why am I spending Saturday morning with, well, I know it's Saturday morning in Australia. Um, it's 5 a.m. over here. So cranky voice and only half a cup of coffee in me, but we'll get through. All right. So uh, let's jump in and show you why we're doing this. So what we're looking to achieve is obviously generating leads for you, for your clients, and um, then also showing them how they can, how you can build this for your clients and how you can do amazing things. Okay. So this is the Google doc. I'm going to give you guys everything at the end. Prompts are here. Um, we're going to start to build out the knowledge base and that kind of stuff. So by the end of this, I'm going to give you the link to this doc. All right. And you'll have everything. So we'll, I'll, as I build it, I'll copy and paste it and I'll give you the, I'll give you the link to the doc at the end. When you get the link to the doc, let me say this. When you get the link to the doc, um, don't ask for edit permissions because that has a chance to wreck it for everybody. What I want you to do is go file, make a copy and it'll be yours. And then you can edit it to your heart's content. Okay. I'm going to give everybody the same link and then you guys go file, make a copy. You'll have your own um, version of the doc and you'll have everything ready to go. So what are we trying to achieve? Let's start there. So to demonstrate this, I just need to make sure I've, I'm not in the system and I will start from that point. So let me just see if I'm not in the system. Um, make sure I already am not a contact. There I am. 
and there I am. Deleting me out of the system so that I can show it from the beginning. All right, hopefully that's the way we're gonna work. Okay, so um, what are we trying to achieve? Let's start with generating leads. And I'm gonna do this in our, in our brand that we started five weeks ago so that we could uh, demonstrate this. This is Prospect Falcon and uh, this is the leads tool. So this this is what you guys already have. If you're a white label suite client, you can white label your own version of the leads tool. Um, you can embed it into GHL. So you can you can have it in an iframe inside of GHL, just like this. There we go. Um, so you can you're have it all. Screen yet. Oh, I'm sharing it with me. It makes sense completely to me. <laughs> Come on, guys. You got to get it. You got to go, like, get that uh, uh, ESP go. going on. All right, so um, you can embed this into your, thank you for that, by the way. You can embed this into your, your GHL dashboard so your clients see it in here. You can brand it as your own. Um, if you've got the white label dashboard, you will see it like this, right? There we go. So it's exactly the same uh, system, just depending on how you see it. So here's the leads tool. Uh, here's the leads tool inside of GHL. Here's the leads tool inside of a separate brand, but it's all the same gear. Now, when we do this search, what we're looking for, so we say, okay, let's let's go and find a lead. We, we, we want to find business coaches, we want realtors, mortgage brokers, whatever it is, the, the client that we're looking for. We say, okay, I'm looking for a realtor in um, uh, Miami, okay? And I'm just going to add them to a list, go. So when we find the leads, None of this is new and you can see I've already done this. So I've got a heap of these on my lists already. But here's all my here's all my realtors, all right? And now we've got all of the data. We've got their, their uh, employee numbers. We've got their socials. We've got all of this information. And the real, um, I guess, magic of this particular piece is how we've written the script for the AI to do the research. So I've got a couple of prompts in here. I want to know about this company. So I've written it here, uh, and I, again, I'll give you the prompts in just a second. This first prompt is called, I've called it awards and details. So do some research on this company. And this specific prompt is looking for, find me unique things, find me information about their company, find me, have they won any awards? Have they got any specific case studies? I'll show you the prompt in just a second, yeah? So find me some information about this company. Now, What's really cool is that you can ask the AI to do anything you like, right? Anything you like. So I've asked the AI to find me information about this company and note any specifics uh, in terms of awards and case studies. But you can ask the AI to do anything. I'll give you the prompt in just a second. So this particular prompt says, a comprehensive resource for Miami condos. The real estate company offers customized solutions to meet the individual goals of clients. Noteworthy achievements have not been explicitly mentioned. Okay, there's no case studies on the side. Okay, and we can help them by doing a few different things. That's cool. Step one. Now, I've got another prompt here, which um, I've written in the subject line section, actually, that says AI suggested clients. Now, again, this is just another prompt where I've said to the AI, based on their website, suggest for me a few different client types that this company might be interested in. Because I want to sell them Prospect Falcon. I want to sell them the leads tool, right? So tell me what kind of leads they might be interested in so I can wow them. They might be looking for real estate investors looking to buy or sell, young professionals or families in Miami, property brokers, corporations, and real estate developers. Now, Straight away, that's pretty freaking magic just from an AI perspective. Look at a website, analyze it based on what you see. Tell me, who do you think might be an ideal client for this client, for this customer, right? That alone is pretty sweet. Now, again, I'll give you the prompts here, you guys. That's in, the, that's in place. And I've got one more prompt that I use a lot, and I haven't put this on the doc yet, so I'll do that now. This prompt... Um, is called the I noticed prompt, all right? Uh, Graham, yes, you definitely can. So this is called the I noticed prompt. And the I noticed prompt is designed for me to, um, to go to the website and start a conversation in the way that I would as a human, right? And if I'm talking to somebody about their business, I would 
just in my natural language, say to somebody, oh, I noticed that you are the uh, comprehensive platform for prospective property owners and tenants focused solely on the Miami region, right? So I noticed something about your business. Those are the three prompts that we use. Now, again, you can ask the AI to do anything you want in regards to analyzing this business and finding out information. This is just the three pieces of information that I've kind of set up to give us the best result when we're connecting with the client. So where do we set those prompts up? I'm going to send this information over to um, over to our, our system in just a second. And actually, I might add in myself as an email address because I can see that this particular result of all the ones hasn't got an email, but that's okay. Or I might just do some research on another one. Right. Actually, I'll do that. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, go and get the suggested clients for these guys in Singapore. Okay. Let's get that done. And we'll do the same on the next one as well. Go, go, go. Right now, don't forget, guys, you can do this on mass. You can do this 20 at a time, 50 at a time, and then you can start your, your outreach going on. We are, um, there we go. That's the information there. And we'll do one more for these guys as well that I noticed. Okay. So again, as I mentioned, you can do this on mass. Find me all the business coaches. Do 50 at a time. Because I only have one on the Miami search, Graham, and these are other, this is like my demo from yesterday. I've got people in, where else have I got? Um, business agencies. This is my demo account, man. So I'm, I've got like lots of different demos that I've done over time. This is life coaches in England. Um, I've got lots of different ones in here. So I only have one result on the Miami because I had many, many others in there. All right. So cool. Um, done and done. And did we get one more on that? The I noticed section. All right. Let's, let's have a look at these prompts. So what makes that work is the prompts, yeah? And to set those prompts up, we're in the AI tools section of your um, of your leads tool, and we're in the fine tuning area. And I'm going to give you these prompts right now. And again, it's all going to be on the dock at the end. There you go. There's the I noticed one. So in the AI tools over here on the left, in the fine tuning, this is where we set up the prompts, Okay. And you can create as many prompts as you want and they show up in the in the dashboard. So let me grab the um, the I noticed prompt and I'll add that to my doc for you guys and give you this at the end. All right. Okay. So over here in our, in our AI tools, in the fine tuning, you can create your own prompts, all right? And to do so, literally you go create new. And when you're creating a prompt, you give it a name. So that one was the I noticed. So this is I noticed 2.0, which is a little different. Now, is it, you'll notice there's only four spots you can put a prompt in the system. DM, summary, subject line, and intro. Okay, now we are updating the program in another release coming up where you can choose your own icon, choose your own name, create your own custom field, create unlimited prompts, that's coming. Okay, but at the moment, there's only four boxes um, that you can slot this into. So I slot the uh, awards and details into summary. I slot the, um, I actually slot the uh, suggested clients into subject line because I use my own custom subject lines. I'll show you that in a second. And I slot the I noticed into intro, okay? So I noticed in the intro, on a company search, pop in the prompt here, okay? Now, I promise that this was going to be the bigger picture and then I've dived straight into details. So let me get out of details and come to the bigger picture. Um, and we'll come back to the prompts in just a sec. But I can also say, okay, you can see, have a look at website. You can add in the the variables, website, company name, contact person, business name, personality, what products do we sell, all that kind of stuff. You can insert into the prompts easily from here. So I'm just going to, that's where we set it up. I promise I was going to do big picture. Right. So big picture, I've analyzed my business. I've got a lead. Um, here it is in my system. I've done the AI piece of it. It's all set up, ready to go. I've got this information and I'm, I said, cool, this is an ideal client. I'm going to add in my own email address here. 
so that when it goes across to um, GHL, it's in the system. Great, there it is. Okay, cool. Ideal client, looks good, done the research, got a result, fantastic. Let's send this over to my connected GHL. So Miami Retail Solution Group, sending to my GHL, boom, done. Now, all of this information about this client, for those of you who are kind of new to the, um, uh, the whole white label suite world, all of this data, name, phone number, social profile links, phone number, um, email address, all of that stuff goes into GHL. And these um, AI, the answers from this AI go across as well. And they show up in a custom field. And I'm going to show you that in just a second. Kyle, to answer your question, it's the one that we had in the base AI base files in the knowledge base so that the team can just copy and paste that thing. So if we can get that into a PDF with the knowledge base, that'd be cool. Uh, Kate says, what did you do to send to GHL? Great question. So um, you will need to set up your connection to GHL in the integration piece. And now again, you can connect to unlimited sub accounts, um, but up and you, for your clients. So this is important for your clients, because this is white label, right? In your white label dashboard, let me come across to my white label dashboard. In my white label dashboard, in the white label section, in my business account, I have uh, a couple of things in here. And one of them is the CRM. What do I call my CRM? You don't want to call it GHL if you're, if you're white labeling. You might call it ABC leads, right? So ABC leads or ABC CRM, whatever it is, whatever you call your GHL, you can name it in here. You can put your own logo in here so that when your clients are integrating, they don't see high level, they see your name with your logo. So then back in the um, uh, client facing version of it, when I come up to my integrations, it will show up here with high level or whatever you've named it and you can just connect that CRM, okay? So then Kate, to send this to the CRM, I've literally just said this, this lead, all right? And that email address, if I wanna change it, click it up here, the little paper airplane. All right, send it across to, to GHL. So let's go and have a look what happens in GHL. And then we're going to, uh, Kevin, yes, Keep is a native integration um, with the system as well. Okay. Where and, we? and I don't have to have a Keep account in order for my sub account members to be able to send stuff to Keep. That's correct. Yes, that is. Okay. Uh, so in your white label dashboard, um, so Kyle's just um, um, popped in there. We cover this in the onboarding. Um, but in the white label dashboard, if you want, your clients to see that they can integrate with Keep, you need to turn on what they can see in their dashboard. So we've set this right. up in such a way, and we're just about to have um, click funnels, uh, groove funnels. Um, what else have we got coming in, Mr. Kyle? Um, um, HubSpot eventually, Salesforce, Outreach, pipe drive. Like pipe drive, all of that kind of stuff. Um, we're gonna be adding all of these integrations, but you as a white label reseller, you might not want to even let people know that we integrate with HubSpot, right? So you just turn that off and they don't even see it. So we're, we've set this up so that you can show or hide these integrations. And Zapier is a great one um, because you can integrate with anything through Zapier. And it's exactly the same process. Click the airplane, choose Zapier or choose the, the link to send across, goes, hits Zapier, does all the thing. Okay, right. Let's come and have a look at our, our CRM database. Here we are in my contacts. I just sent across that particular uh, record and there I am, okay? Working for the Miami, Miami Realty Solution Group. I'm in the system. And what's really cool in my system is that all of that data is here. So if I scroll down, all of these um, fields have been created. You don't need to create them. As soon as you connect up your white label suite system to the CRM, and the first time you send this data across, all of these fields are created for you, okay? But if we come down, we've got all of that data. Da -da -da -da. I noticed that your business, Miami Conno Solutions, that's the I noticed one. AI summary is here. AI subject line is here, okay? So all of the data, have they got a Google Analytics account? Have they got Google Tag Manager? All of that data that came from, from the, the lead search is all here, okay? Now that's important because 
The next step, of course, is that we are sending out or we're communicating with these leads and getting them to engage. So what we are doing ourselves is we are sending, because we're talking about this four bot system, we're sending people to a page that looks like this where they can download. So we're asking them, hey, John, I noticed that in Miami, you're the top realtor. I have four AI tools that can really help improve your bottom line. Can I send you the free report? All right, click here. Now the click here is important. So click here identifies that person by their, by their email. Okay. And I'll show you how we do that in just a second. And brings them to a page that looks like this and says, sure, send me your free report. This is still big picture, guys. This is So we're finding a lead, doing the research, getting them to engage, and then what happens next? So we say, cool, send me this free report. And I say, okay, my name's Walt, and my phone number is... By the way, for those of you who are madly writing down my phone number, I never answer my phone. And in fact, my voicemail says, hi, this is Walt. I never answer my phone. Um, unless you're Johan. <laughs> Even Kyle can't get it. So thanks, the report's on the way. Now, what happens next? What happens next? Let's just get this into a system. What happens next is the AI conversational bot kicks into gear. And I think I was in the system, so it hasn't done it for me. But the AI conversational bot kicks into gear. So I might actually um, trigger this so that I can show you guys. Right. Let's get this going on. So my first typical message is, there it is. Now I want to show you guys. My first message is, here's the, here's the report. And what we write in our SMS is, um, here's the free report you asked. By the way, we've our AI has done some research for you. Would you like us to share information about um, suggested lead generation? Something that gets the client to say yes, right? Uh, there we go. Let's see if I can share my screen. Okay, cool. So the client says, yes, sure. I'd like to see the report. And that's where I'm going to start from. Let's go. So can you guys all see my, my screen? So this is from a demo I did yesterday. And actually this will do me just as well. But um, say, okay, let's, sh so here's, that, here's that, uh, that report. Yesterday I was Chris as I was demoing this. Here's our AI report. All right. By the way, AI is smart. We've already figured out some prospect ideas for your real estate company. Shall I share it with you? Sure, share it. For your real estate company, da 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 Okay. Really, really cool. Now, um, here is, uh, what lead ideas do you have? Now this is hitting close bot and it's actually using the data that our white label suite program just found out about the company. Okay. So it's coming in and it's, it's seeing exactly who we are. It knows awards we've run. It knows, um, Different information there. So there you can see it's popping up in the conversation as well. For Miami Condo Solutions, remember that's who I said I was today, targeting leads like real estate investors, young professionals, property brokers could be really effective. These groups are actively looking into buying, selling, or renting properties in Miami. How do you currently reach out to those clients? So now I'm letting Closebot talk to my client about a specific situation and drive them towards a sale. So this is where the real magic is, okay? So this is the big picture. Big picture is AI finds the leads, researches the client, knows a whole bunch of really cool, clever stuff about them. And then when that client engages with us, the close bot system already knows about them and can communicate with them on that level. Uh, how do you currently reach out to these clients? Um, I use Facebook ads and um, I don't know, word of mouth. This is why we love close bot because the conversational piece here is really great. So Let's see if what our next step is from here. Let Closebot do its thing. Once we get it, a couple of delay seconds there. There we go. Cool. 
I can see it's already in my conversations tab. I'm just waiting for the SMS to catch up over here, but I can read it from here. Facebook ads and word of mouth are great strategies. With Prospect Falcon, oh, there we go. <laughs> there you go. Ugh. You can enhance those efforts by pinpointing the exact type of leads you need, like identifying young professionals likely to move in to Miami. So cool that it knows I'm in Miami. I'm looking for young professionals. I've already got this information. Would you like to see how our tool can integrate? Yes. Um, how would the tool work? All right. So again, I'm showing you the big picture. Because Closebot knows who the client is, the conversation is personalized. It's not just a two-dimensional AI chat. It's three-dimensional. It knows you. It understands what you're looking for. So I can I can get this way. And guys, this is why this is such a magic system. The, the Closebot system can do absolutely anything. We've just trained it to sell the leads tool, right? Which is what you guys are here for. But when you're talking to your clients, you can set it up to, to sell their system, okay? Uh, Prospect Falcon will work alongside your Facebook ads by analyzing the engagement data and doing lots of the cool stuff. All right, would you like a walkthrough? All right, so that's the big picture. The big picture is use the leads tool to generate leads, okay? When the lead engages, we have so much data and information about that company that the conversation feels like these guys really get me. This is not something I need to explain. This is something I can immediately get into a use case for. Yeah. Is that all cool so far, guys? Is even on my sleep deprivedness and lack of preparation, are you guys all keeping up? Just I, it's one. amazing. I One quick clarification question yeah. is, can we just send out an email to our existing database and have Closebot take over? Yeah, definitely. So Closebot can answer on any um, any channel. Um, and so the answer is yes. So, so long as what happens is, um, Kevin, so Closebot is triggered by the customer's interaction. So um, I can send out the emails to the database. And when they reply, Closebot can take over. Right. And the answer and so we're we can we have our own database of of contacts. We know we can reach out to them and use Closebot. Plus, we can backfill with white label suite to find more of our ideal prospects. You got it. Exactly right. And okay. again, we're such huge fans of Closebot, you guys, um, because like from a database, database reactivation is one of the uh, biggest winning strategies in the whole um, GHL space. Rob Bailey's taught it incredibly well. When you when you combine database reactivation, which is I've already got a database, let's send out a great offer to them. When you combine that with Closebot, you, you're you in a double win. It's really very, very cool. Um, okay, so let me just scan some questions here. Sorry, guys, I've been demoing um, and not keeping up with questions. Um, Kyle has got, Kyle, is there anything that I've that you haven't managed to? Um, uh, the report, I think we've got that for our enterprise clients. Um, <laughs> Cool, Mika, great to see you. Um, great, great, great. How is Closebot getting the info from White Label Suite? Says Laura, great question. Um, okay, so Laura, when we did that research, White Label Suite has all that information. When White Label Suite and GHL integrate, all that information that was in White Label Suite is now in GHL. And then the next piece. From GHL to Closebot, I'll show you inside of Closebot, all you need to do is copy and paste a couple of fields and Closebot gets the information from GHL. So it goes from white label suite into GHL, from GHL into Closebot. So GHL becomes the central hub for the flow of information. All right. And I'll show you that in just a second. Um, cool, cool, cool. Great. All right. Amazing. Um, oh, so... Um, Graham says, does this sit alongside GHL conversational AI? And Kyle's answer there, no, it's separate. Um, I tested a whole bunch of different chat systems, including GHL's own conversational um, AI. And as I, I am the biggest GHL fan, you will not find a bigger fan, flag-waving GHL fan than me. But when I put the conversation next to Closebot, it was like talking to a two-year-old versus talking to a, a business analyst, right? The... Um, the response, I, I can't remember the exact words, but I asked the two systems the same question, something like, um, what leads could you suggest for me? And GHL responded with a typical bot question uh, or response, something along the lines of, well, that depends on how you'd like to use the system. 
And Closebot said, well, what we'd recommend is that it was such a difference. Like we couldn't even believe the work that Bryce and the team are doing in Closebot uh, behind the scenes on this conversational AI is incredible. Now, GHL might catch up, you know, they might, but at the moment, Closebot kicks their butt and the the conversation, the structure of the conversation and the knowledge of the conversation is incredible. Um, for example, a live sales um, call that we've got in the system, and I'd, I should do a little um, video on it. Um, somebody realized that this bot was pretty damn smart and used it as a business coach. They were full on like, I see if I can find the conversation for you, but they were like, um, actually, let me see if I can, I'll simulate, I'll simulate this conversation. Um, they, they started saying things like, let me see if I can get this going on. Um, um, thanks. I have an event coming up in a few days. Um, how should I sell more tickets? Right? They asked that. And then the bot went into some incredible strategies like, Dan, um, Dan Martell, Dan Henry kind of um, strategies. This is what we suggest. This is how you should reach out to influencers. Like I was, I woke up in the morning and as I do, I just went through some conversations to make sure the bot was still, you know, on path and blown away by the incredible um, information that the closed bot system came back with. And again, I'll, um, I'll stop the share, but it was, it was amazing. That is actually, it's coming back just saying all oh, this just best strategies ever. I didn't code that. I didn't code that into the bot. Bryce and the team have got that in the background. My, the only thing my prompt says is answer all questions and be helpful. <laughs> right. And Bryce's team has taken that to like an incredible level. Um, one, one time we've come in and I, again, I was checking the conversations and we engaged a lead and they answered in Spanish. So guess what? Closebot answered in Spanish, had a whole conversation in Spanish. And I joked with, with Kyle, I said, I've got 265 days on Duolingo, but that ain't me, brother. Having that conversation, it was, it was amazing, right? So um, let me answer a couple of questions there going on. Can we enrich an existing database in White Label Suite? Yes, 100%. Um, we have the enrich feature within, um, within the White Label Suite tool. You can just send the data across and do the enrichment. And Kyle answered, Kyle. I need to scroll down to see um, that Kyle's already answered these. Um, Da, 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 da. What was that one? Uh, information being uploaded as a knowledge base. Yeah, I'll cover that in a sec. Um, Kate says my mind's a bit blown. Yeah, Kate, I, I get your point. Um, I'm really scared about implementing this for clients. I get it. Um, you know, we see a lot of people in the GHL community, 80,000 strong in there. And um, a lot of people say, oh, I've been trying to learn GHL for the last six months and I'm still struggling and um, geez, I really just don't know if I'm ever going to get this off the ground, right? All, all kind of words to that effect. Um, for those of you who are on John Logar's training yesterday, um, if you ask John to build an automation or a workflow in GHL, no chance, doesn't know how. Johan, my business partner, um, most connected person on the planet making sales of a $10,000 system all day, every day, literally every day, a new $10,000 sales coming in. Um, couldn't build an automation to save his life. Absolutely not. Doesn't know how. Couldn't, couldn't tell you. Um, John doing 400,000 plus a month through his agency. Can't build an automation. Um, so Kate, to your question, the amazing thing is there are, thousands and thousands and thousands of people that can fill in the tech blanks for you. But this is important. And this is the reason I've got this up on the wall. Only you can have a conversation that you can have with a business owner, right? And I, I, I know the feeling you're like, yeah, but what if it doesn't work? You know, like I've got to be sure of what I'm selling. Here's the cool thing. GHL in January, February of this year, got $60 million in a, in a um, VC fundraising that put them, that valued them at a billion dollar company, right? They've got 600 plus staff and you can be pretty damn sure that the system works. Um, so you can say, cool. It's over a thousand now. There's about 500 over a thousand developers staff. on their team. 
and 300 active roles that they're currently recruiting for. The, the, the machine is a beast. Um, so you can be pretty sure that GHL works. And you can also scroll through that group, seeing all the incredible, thank you, GHL, GHL, mate. Like you can, you can be pretty sure that you're on solid ground. Wide label suite. You can go to our testimonials page and just see testimonial after testimonial after testimonial after testimonial. Now we're not a billion dollar company, um, but there's a heck of a lot of case studies there. And, and we've got just good feedback. So again, you can feel comfortable. If I build my house on this rock, it's not going to wash away, right? Um, so I've got something there. The next one is Closebot. Again, with the hockey stick acceleration of growth inside of Closebot and the incredible testimonials that are coming over there, you can say, okay, this system works. Now I know GHL is working on his solid ground. White Level Suite's working solid ground. Closebot's working solid ground. The only thing I don't know is how to put the damn thing together, right? So long as you trust that the three systems work, there's literally thousands of people that will put it together for you for five bucks an hour or seven bucks an hour, right? We actually, use, go for it, Kate. Uh, I, I actually use level nine virtual. Perfect. Um, do they, I mean, I know they know your, your stuff. Do they know closed bots as well? Do you know? Um, I don't know if they know closed bot, but here's what I do know about Joe and the team at level nine. We highly recommend them. Um, what I do know is that the people he engages are extremely capable of learning, right? Yeah. And if you, if you close bots, um, I, I learn close bot in a week, um, by watching Bryce's tutorials. Um, and I'm a geek. Yeah. I'm a tech head, but between this tutorial, close bots tutorial and level nine's own drive to make sure they have smart, intelligent people, you can literally say, hey guys, brand new system. What I want you to do is learn this sucker. Here's what I want at the end. Come back to me when you're ready. Right. Yeah. Now I don't I don't I don't mean this next statement to be disrespectful, but Kyle and I did a whole course that we call the Freedom Program on this next statement. I don't mean this to be disrespectful at all. Building closed board automations and workflows and even pushing the button and generating the leads is an activity that because anyone can do it, the value of that skill is pretty low. Like five bucks an hour, seven bucks an hour, 800 bucks full time for a, for a staff member, 1500 for a level nine employee. Like, I mean, it's pretty low. The value is pretty low. I'm not saying that the work they're doing is not valuable. Like, I'm just saying that because anyone can do it, it's like flipping burgers at McDonald's. So long as you can just work that spatula, you got yourself. That's why it's a minimum wage job, right? Because anyone can do it. The value's low. But like John taught yesterday, not everybody can sit across from a business owner and go, so tell me, what are you currently doing to manage your leads and look after things? Uh, I'm not. Well, what's that worth to you? Not everybody can have that conversation. Entrepreneurs, this group of people have something really special, have got magic in the way that we communicate. We understand business. I can't ask my team, with the exception of Kyle, to go and have a conversation with a $100 million company and sell the four bot system. I can't do it because they just, they're just not up to it. Kyle is, Johan is, Walt is. I can sit down with anybody, Fortune 500 company or not. We sat down with one of the board member directors of Hewlett Packard this week and had a conversation about the four bot system. The skill level's different. So I, we own a Facebook group with 20,000 people called GHL Funnels and Jobs, where 20,000 people are constantly saying, who's got work? Who's got work? Anybody? I'll build automations. Wow. I'll build funnels. I'll do all that kind of stuff. John Logar cannot set up an automation for his life. Runs a $400,000 a month agency with like 15 staff, all right? Doesn't know anything about the tech. It just knows that it works. And that's the magic piece. Because if you can, can if you can show a, a client that it works, then you go, guys, I'll get off my soapbox. Let's get back into technical. But Kate, does that help? Thumbs Thank up. Thank you very much. Yes, it does. You're, you're welcome. Definitely. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, da -da -da -da. Hot prospector. I know. Um, I know Mark from Hot Prospector. Laura. Mark is a very very smart operator. Uh, Mark Hilton. Um, he and I have been friends for a long time. Um, he has a good system. I didn't test the voice system because when we hit synth flow, we just, 
were blown away by the ease of use. So I've known Mark for a long time. Um, and when I see him in Dallas, I'll buy him a beer. But I didn't test Hot Prospector. I just know how Synflow works. Um, we did we did a couple of voice tests with different things. We did uh, AI agents and um, a couple of others that were out there. Um, but Synflow blew them away. So we'll get to Synflow in a sec. Uh, Close bot setting up in GHL, sitting in GHL. Oh my goodness, 29 questions. Kyle, is there anything outstanding on questions I can just keep scrolling rather than read through? Uh, Zappy Chat. Yeah, um, I'm answering as we go. So if you want to keep going. Okay. Amazing. All right. Carl says, am I using OpenAI or Anthropic? At the moment, I'm using OpenAI. Um, we'll be moving to Anthropic soon. All right, cool. Guys, Carl, just shout out if there's a question. I can see that there was 29 unread questions, so I'm just going to carry on. All right. So big picture. White Label Suite does lead generation that prompts make the data sing. That data comes into GHL as a hub. We engage the lead. And then when the lead communicates... The, the chat system already knows, all right? Now, this is the pieces that make this work. As we just said, the prompts are one of those pieces. And you can get the prompts to do anything. So if you're talking to a client and the client says, um, you know, I'm really trying to reach out to speakers and authors to get them to be presenters on my podcast, right? I might write a prompt in my white label suite system that says, analyze the business and thing and see if there's any opportunity for this person to gain more media exposure by getting on my podcast, right? I can tell the prompt to do whatever I want. But in this particular example, I'm getting it to analyze, find unique information and recommend for me some business lead strategies so that my, my bot can have a conversation. That's piece number one to make it work. Piece number two to make it work is when I communicate with this lead, and they click to say, yes, I'm interested. Send me more details. I need that click to identify who they are. Because otherwise, everything I just showed you is wasted. I need the click to identify the person or the company that I'm working with. Because otherwise, Closebot goes, I don't know who you are. What are you asking me for? So... There's a piece in the automation, there's a piece in the workflow inside of GHL that needs to be set up. And again, contradictory to everything I just said, I'm just about to dive into the weeds and show you how that works. What I want you to do is give this to your VA, <laughs> get them to do it, you go and have a conversation. So there's a the click needs to identify them. Let me show you. The next step in this machine, the next cog in this machine is making sure that the click is identified. To do that, we're going to start in our form, and our form is um, having a hidden field that the click can populate. Sounds tricky. Let me show you. Right. The form itself, here we go. The form itself has an email field that I'm not putting in on the screen. All right. AI report with email. Let me get my thing up here. Uh, with email. Where is my hidden field? Oh my goodness. Okay. My hidden field is gone, but I'll show you. <laughs> I'll show you what I'm talking about. I add the email field. I turn off the requirement because otherwise the form won't go through unless it, it works. I make it hidden, which is probably why I can't see it. And what that means is the customer is only seeing name and phone number, but in the background, the email is automatically populating. Okay. What? Why? Because GHL identifies a contact using one of two identifiers, either email or phone number. Now, the danger with our white label suite data system that we just show, showed off is that I send it to a business with a business email. The owner of the business with his own mobile in his pocket fills in the form and the link is broken because now Closebot doesn't know who they are because the email is different and the phone number is different. Okay. So we set up a field on the form, which is a hidden field. All right. And let the, let the click fill that field in. Let me show you how to do it. So when you add this field, you'll notice that the query says it's just the field is called email. Nice and easy. When you send somebody to the page, what you need to have is their email at the end. So it looks like 
question mark, email equals contact email. Okay. Question mark, email, all in lowercase, equals customer's email. And that will automatically fill that field in without the client needing to, even if you've emailed somebody from ABC Realty and they forwarded it on to their friend, okay, it'll fill it in the details, okay? So question mark, email equals, and then contact email. I'm gonna show you how to set that up on the automation. But that is, again, on our Google Doc right here. Link in the form, question mark, email equals, and then it's, I think it, um, contact email. I'll correct that in just a second. I'll go and check. All right. So we put a link in our outbound messages that includes the customer's email. So when they get to the page and they fill in the form, we know who they are. All right. So let me come across to our automations and show you exactly how we set that up now. Proceed. In our automations, and I'm in my live database. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to create a workflow here and I'll keep it in draft. Okay. So let's go. Um, I set up my new trigger on a qualified tag. That's what we, that's, so when they come in from our white label suite, my VA is making sure they're qualified. So we've given her a whole bunch of criteria. If they've got three staff and more, if they've been in business for three years or more, if they um, are at a match for our, our clients, if you've got data and information, tag them as qualified, send them across. When they're qualified, they, that's what our trigger is, right? But when they're qualified, the next thing we do is send an email, all right? And we send an email with all of our data. So let me just drop some stuff in here very quickly. From name Walt, from email Walt, cool. Subject, um, your AI report or something like that, okay? Um, we've got this cool report. Would you like it? Click here to grab it. Now I'm gonna be a bit more like eloquent than that but this is my point, all right? Cheers, well, all right, now click here to grab it. This is where I'm gonna put in my link. This is where I'm gonna put in my link. So I'm gonna send them to my page just like this. So this is my page. You're gonna have your own page, obviously. So let's create this link. Page, and at the end, question mark, email equals, and then I just put in the contact email, right? Which I'll grab in just a sec. Let me grab it from here and add it to the link. Okay. Let me grab that proper thing. Contact email. There it is. I was right. Contact.email. So email equals contact email. All right, so what happens now? When they click on this link, it sends the email across to the URL, which automatically fills it in on my form. And now Closebot has identified me and all of that research flows, okay? So st step one, get your prompts in, the, in the, the white label piece, delivering the kind of information that makes sense for you and for your clients when you're doing the research. Step two, add a form with a hidden field of email so that the click identifies the customer and the close bot knows who they are, okay? So step two, make sure we have email equals contact email on the form. Now let's get to close bot. And again, guys, I'm gonna give you all this. You don't need to scramble. I'm gonna give you the doc at the end, all the prompts, all the knowledge base, all that kind of stuff, okay? So now we've got data in the system, Clients identified, let's get across to Closebot. So let's jump into Closebot. And if you haven't got Closebot, by the way, if you go to whitelabelsuite.com forward slash Closebot, you can sign up. That's our affiliate link. So we get paid a little commission for that. And as a thank you for going through our link, we'll give you all of our templates and stuff. You don't have to go through our link. Um, you can go direct if you prefer not to give us that commission. That's fine. We still love them. We like 
love them so much. Um, but yeah, if you go to whitelabelsuite.com forward slash close bot, you can get this system, which is very, very cool. Right. Now, there's a couple of things that I want to give you guys as we start. And those things are the bot numbers. And I'm going to put these on the, on the doc as well. Bot one is set. I got, you don't need to write this down. I'll have it on the doc. You can if you want. But this is if you ask Closebot for these bot numbers and you send, tell them that White Label Suite sent you, they'll just put them in your account. Okay. So bot one is 17444. Let me just add this. Bot one is sales. Uh, ID 17444. Kyle, could you please add that? I can see you typing as well. Can you please add these bot numbers as we go? So bot bot one is the sales bot. It's 17444. All right. And that's the that's the bot that does most of the heavy lifting for us, to be honest. Bot two is a follow-up bot. So if we don't make the sale on the first contact, bot two will follow us up after a certain amount of time and Follow, the follow-up bot has pretty much the same training, but it starts its conversation a little bit differently. Instead of um, instead of needing to be triggered, it gets triggered and says, um, hey, John, just following up. Uh, didn't hear back from you. Want to make sure everything's okay. Right? So bot two is 18032, Kyle, if that's okay to drop that in. And bot three is support and upsell. So this bot gets triggered after a client purchases from us and um, has an upsell role built into it. So we sell the leads tool itself and then we're upselling to the enterprise four bot system at a $10,000 level, right? So bot three is 18127. Hopefully uh, you've been able to grab that, Mr. Kyle, and pop it on there. Let me just double check. Got it. You're a legend. Thank you, sir. All right. So let's have a look at um, what makes Closebot work. And what makes Closebot so freaking good? I'm going to work in bot one, 17444. And again, guys, all of this is going to come your way. If you ask Closebot nicely, they'll put it in your account. All right. Um, Jonas, yes, absolutely. Um, Kyle will drop that link in. It is, uh, anyway, Kyle will drop that link in for you for John's um, workshop that's coming up next week. Guys, get to the workshop. God, it's like magic that what that guy does. There you go. Thank you. All right. So what makes what makes Closebot so freaking amazing is this tab right here. It's called the Modify Bot. And in this tab is the objectives piece. This is what makes Closebot so freaking good. Um, being able to stack objectives. I'm going to go through all of these. I'm going to show you exactly how it works. And I'm going to um, take a screenshot right now of that structure. I'm going to add it to the Google Doc so that you can rebuild it. Again, it's important, I feel, that you know um, that you know how it works, even though we're going to give you the templates. So at least you can you can build it yourself if you want to. So bot one 17444, I'm going to pop that image in there so you can kind of match it as you go. And before I get to these, let me just very quickly cover off a few bits and pieces here. We give it a label, a name, um, there's, there's training from Closebot on all of this stuff, but basically low delay, break up large messages, and I'm not prohibiting any words, um, but there's a whole bunch of training here on how all of these steps work. And um, I won't go too much into it. We use our own open, open AI key to save on credits. It's way, way, way cheaper. And we're about to go to Anthropic, which will be even cheaper again. Um, um, so... Who, whoever signed in as Biz Planner, so yeah, Kyle, you got the questions. Just ask me if there's anything outstanding. All right, cool. Um, all right, so lots of training here. We break up large messages to make sure that they're into smaller chunks. And next, next is you need to install the Closebot app inside of your GHL account. Okay, so that is as easy as it sounds. We literally um, come across to GHL, which is here. Confirm. Inside of GHL, you come down to App Marketplace and you look for the app called Closebot, which we've already got, of course. And there it is. All right. You install the bot and that makes a lot of cool things happen. All right. So you, it's just click, install an app, and it's, I think, two or three clicks and it's set up in your account. So once you've installed the app, you can then connect up your sub account to Closebot. So 
you can see I've, I've connected my sub account here. So you'll have all your sub accounts, your clients' sub accounts will show up in agency mode, all that kind of stuff. And here's also when you put in your open AI key. Now, this next piece um, has just been updated about 24 hours ago by the Closebot team, but you can see I've got everything turned off at the moment. And, um, but what, what do these things do? Switch off the bot if the contact's becoming aggressive, all right? Stop, stop talking to them. Just, you can get yourself into a deep hole. Just stop. If the contact says, Who are you, man? What are you talking to me for? Ding. End of conversation, all right? You can turn that on if you want. Um, if the contact says, okay, bye, got to go now, stop replying to them. Uh, if the contact is identified as a spammer, don't engage because you can spend a lot of time, da -da 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 a lot of credits interacting with a spammer uh, or a contact is likely another bot. Man, those bots could converse for years and your your AI key is just being used all the time. So you can just turn that off if you want to. Um, or the contacts reached its objectives. Remember, I just showed you that cool purple and green screen. Everything's been done on my plan. So stop talking, all right? You can turn that off as well. And you can also set up custom scenarios, which is really cool. Now, this next piece is really important and I, I need to put this into the, into the Google Doc. First of all, why the conversation is happening. Now, they've given us 500 characters and I've just got in under the 495, but here's what Bryce says on this training on this piece. Would you read an encyclopedia or one paragraph summary as a preference? One paragraph summary, please. He says bots are the same. So keep it short, keep it succinct, give as much information as you can in as small a possible amount of text for the best results of a bot. Why the conversation is happening all right. So I'm just going to, again, put all our stuff onto this Google Doc and you guys will get this at the end. Um, why? The convo? Sorry, Australians tend to shorten everything. Convo, conversation. All right. Why the conversation is happening. So you're telling the bot, in this case, um, we offer a lead generation software called this. Obviously, you guys call yours. Your own. This person is watching a demo of the program right now. We want them to understand that this is what happens. We're offering them a discount if they get started. That's why the conversation is happening. Now, this next one, important business information, I will copy and paste it, but guys, you need to come up with this, all right? Because this is, as it says over here on the right-hand side, any important information you want your bot to always have access to. This is like your company values. You know, it's like who we are in the marketplace. So this is kind of consistent. Um, if your business mission statement is important and you feel it will shape the voice of the bot, Okay, so you can see uh, one of our instructions is we believe in factual information. We love helping entrepreneurs and salespeople. So this is kind of, we want the bot to have our, I guess, soul, wrong word in when you're talking in AI, but we're trying to embody that as much as we possibly can. So the important business information here, again, I'll pop it onto the doc as we go. All right. Important business info. All right. Again, copy ours if you like, but change the brands. Okay. Um, important business information, voice of the company and how to respond. Again, very, very important that you're telling the bot what to do. Now, great, uh, great tip here. I haven't changed this from Bryce's own default setting. Okay. Whatever Whatever you do when you respond, do it in a natural way as if you were chatting with a friend. Don't say things at the beginning of the response like great at lead name. In fact, try to limit the amount of time you use lead name's name in your response. Just make it sound natural and friendly. Never address people as guest. Actually, that last one was me. I added the never address people as guests because we've got it also connected to Facebook and Instagram. And if we haven't got their name, it says, hi, guest. I was like, stop saying that. So that is how to respond, all right? So again, I'm going to pop that into our Google Doc. And yes, we'll give you guys this at the end. How to respond. Right. So these are the kind of building blocks of these bots. Next, we've got objectives and knowledge base. And the objectives takes time to set up. The knowledge base is copy and paste. Okay. So the knowledge base is so, 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 so important. Because without which the system does not know what the heck you're talking about. All right. Oh, my screen share just died. Okay, cool. That's fine. Just turn it on again. 
quick resource and back we go. Right. You need the knowledge base so that your bot can answer questions about your system. Okay. Now, how did we come up with all of this knowledge base stuff? I recorded a webinar and then I sent that transcription up to um, chat GPT, got it to transcribe my webinar. Ah, my, I think my connection here is failing. Sorry. That's okay. I'll talk to you guys. We'll get back to screen share in a sec. There we go. Um, so I send the transcription up. I told ChatGPT to reformat it in a Q&A kind of way. And then I also just went through our frequently asked questions and I put it into a doc and that became my knowledge base. Now, right now you guys are going, oh my God, I don't even know where to start with that stuff. Relax. We're going to give you our knowledge base. Okay. So in this Google doc at the end, um, Kyle is going to grab our knowledge base from our SOPs and post the, actually probably create a couple of new Google Docs, post it in here, and you'll have the knowledge base um, and you'll just need to put your brand in. So the question and answers are the same if you're selling the leads tool. Um, question and answers are the same. The knowledge is the same. All of the flow of the things the same. So just use it. Just put the, your own brand name in there. You'll be sweet. All right. Uh, There's Carlson multiple and... sources in here. Are, is that one link going to include all these multiple sources? Great question, Stacey. I love your questions. They're so good. Um, this, because there's so many questions, there's so many sources in here. Um, this is a direct result of me learning. And then like, okay, cool. I need to add more stuff. Ooh, damn, I need to add more stuff. What I've done now is now that we've kind of got it working, I put it all into one doc so that I can just upload it quickly. The way Here's the knowledge... The <laughs> the way the knowledge base works is you can have unlimited knowledge bases. So imagine that you're, you've are you got lots and lots of clients out there. You've gone out, you've sold the, the four bot system. Um, so I go into the knowledge storage area and I literally just upload everything. So I upload it all to here. Okay. And I can see I've got white label suite stuff here. I've got client stuff here. And then in the bot itself, I just say of all of this docs that I've uploaded, which ones do you want me to know about? So again, back in my doc, in my bot, I've said, there's a lot of stuff in that, but I only want you to reference these ones. Okay. Um, Tina says, you have four bots, but with a closed bot, I can only have three. Um, is there a specific one we can do without? <laughs> yeah. The one that makes me coffee in the morning. No. Um, the four bot system, when we talk to people about the four bot system, guys, the four bot system is... Um, white label suite. So we're out there selling $10,000 program, right? We're out there selling this to businesses, showing them how AI can do all this amazing stuff and getting it set up for the business. The four bots are white label suite doing the lead gen, closed bot doing the communication and um, qualification, synth flow doing the voice piece and GHL as the hub all together, right? So when we sell the four bot system, we are selling four pieces of technology all linked together right? Um, the bots themselves, I think we've got like three chat bots, four voice bots, 17 automations inside of GHL. Like there's a lot. White Level Suite doing its thing. Um, so there's a lot of individual bots in each program. Your question about closed bot specifically, I've, I've got the three bot programming closed bot. Which one do I need? Um, for yourself, really, you could just have one. You could just have 17444. Uh, which is the main sales bot. Um, and you could pretty much add everything else in there uh, if you wanted to. Okay. So, but yeah, for, for us, the four bot system is white label suite, closed bot, synth flow, GHL. Yeah. Uh, are the voice bots available now in the UK? Yep, surely are. All right. So knowledge base drives the world. Kyle's going to add the links. You'll have the knowledge base. You'll be able to just add it and you don't have to go through the effort that we did. Let's get to objectives. As I said, this makes the um, this makes close bot close bot. This is what makes it work. Now I'm going to talk through each one. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to um, I will give you the scripts, but does Synflow and close bot overlap? Yep, they sure do. Um, and you can build it yourself, and you can also ask close bot, and they'll put this into your account for you. So let's just look at the flow, kind of based on my descriptions here. Be specific about the business. Everything that we've talked about up until now is that, right? Know the customer, know who they are, know what they do, understand their needs, be specific about the business, right? Name. And you can see here that I've got an attempt. Just try once. If you if you don't know the name, find out the name, okay? Um, and only ask once. Be, and this is, again, unique to Closebot, is you can, you can put in there, 
get a piece of information, but don't be too aggressive about asking for it, right? So just try once and then let it go, okay? So be specific about the business, ask for their name, right? If you don't already have it. Priority two, now, why, why green, why purple? Again, this makes clothes bot unique. I'm gonna show you each step. I'm just kind of talking the picture at the moment. Green is give information. Purple is get information, okay? Get their name from them. Get their objectives from them, right? Give answers on the program. Give information about running a seminar and filling their seats, right? So we say, do you have any questions? But before that, is it okay to ask questions? Can I ask you a few questions about your business? All right, that's what we do. Next, now this is specific for the lead program. This is information that we get that makes it so easy to sell the leads program. How much is a client worth to you? Ask for that twice, okay? Do you look for B2B or B2C or both? Ask for that twice, all right? What kind of leads are you looking for? I look for realtors. I'm looking for business coaches, all right? And if you don't have the phone number, see if you can get it from them, okay? So notice that that's a few into the stack because otherwise it feels too aggressive at the beginning. Next, be super helpful. Give out a lot of information. Point out how White Level Suite Leads Tool works. Answer any questions about how they're generating leads and then redirect to a sale and redirect to a sale, right? And with us, it's have you got the coupon? because we want to make them sign up today. We'll give you a coupon. We'll send you a coupon on an SMS so long as um, you've enrolled for it. Um, Jonas, will the self-selling AI content be delivered as a step-by-step -step course or the replays of these webinars uh, we have to follow and replicate? This is pretty much what we're doing. So this is us creating the videos for you to be able to follow along if you want to with the full bot system. Cool. All right, so let's dive into each one of these and I'll copy and paste it, all right? Um, is it asking questions randomly in the same column? No, because of the way Closebot works, it just has it as a conversational piece. But when it feels like it's asked all the questions, it will redirect. But if the customer asks another question, it'll come back and answer it. So it always like re reverts back. Right, so let's have a look. This first one is probably the, the one that makes this knowledge work together. And I'm gonna show you why. So be specific about the business. So the short description, this is actually the prompt this is the prompt. Refer to the business of them. That's how Closebot identifies the person, if known, and how our prospecting software can help. So let me pop this in. This might take a little while as I do this. Um, thank you. Knowledge base going in on the doc. Very cool. How to respond. All right. I'm just going to put this objectives here. All right. Um, one, business knowledge. Sorry for not having this ready, you guys. Again, yesterday was a hard day. So that's the prompt, okay? Um, this is just so you know, you can see it in the thing. Be specific about the business. And then this is the bit that makes it work. Use the information in contact AI summary. Remember I showed you right at the beginning that that information had come into GHL in a custom field? That's the custom field, all right? And the suggested lead types in contact subject, remember I was using the subject line to get that piece because there was no other spots, which is what made me go to my dev and say, make me more spots. Um, but I put it into that field. So now Closebot knows about it. And contact intro by AI, that's the I noticed prompt, right? To talk about their business specifically and the types of leads we can help them with. That is the piece that makes all of this magic possible, pulls the information from GHL into the conversation to make it relevant. Okay, so I'm gonna pop that into our doc. Extra info. Okay, that's the piece that makes everything else work. Now, it's not updating any specific fields. It's gathering info, not giving. It doesn't have a max attempt and doesn't have any additional stuff there. That's the bit that makes Closebot know about the information in White Label Suite. Stacey, go for it. Okay, so that that contact uh, underscore AI on summary field, is that coming then from uh, the field from GHL? 
Yeah. So um, answering is, a couple, is that, couple of questions. Just being like a space in front of like where usually there isn't a space in front of or after. So I don't wasn't sure if that was the same. Don't know why that happens, but I literally copied from the custom fields inside of GHL. So it works. Um, okay. So uh, somebody's just asking uh, you, uh, about how does this data come into the fields? You don't have to right. create the fields. Um, as soon as you send the information from the white label suite system, the fields are automatically created. Um, and these are this is these are the fields that those AI result responses are populating, right. and therefore these are the fields that the closebot is referencing. All right. Now, what's really cool about closebot and GHL working together is any custom field can be used in these prompts. Meaning, as we gather more information about this client, things like do you B2B, B2C, all that kind of stuff, the bot knows about it and can pull that information and understand exactly, you know, the conversation gets richer. Yeah. So this is pulling the information that White Label Suites research has done about this particular person. They've identified themselves by the click. I know who they are. Now Closebot knows who they are and knows all of the research that's already been done on them. All right. So that's the piece that makes everything else work. The next one, um, this is, do you, I'll copy and paste everything. It's just going to take me a little bit more time. So get leads name. Um, right. I have to say that the visual representation of how that information is going and flowing is so much easier than the than building the automation on the back end in GHL, although right. it's possible. Oh, it exactly. Really is. I mean, but your lines are going like all over the place. You're yeah. going back up and you're just like, I mean, you lose yourself. You just, you don't have a monitor big enough to do it. It's yeah, crazy. exactly. It, it, and you do, you're shrinking down to, you know, 1% yeah. on the screen and all that kind right, of stuff. Right, 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 right. So, um, uh, guys, I'm going to, um, it's going to take me a little while to copy and paste each step from this, but I'll, I'll, I'll do it as much as I can. One, business knowledge. Um, two, get name. And that's the prompt. And the extra info is response should include their first name. Let me move this up here so it's quicker. All right. Uh, three. Now, uh, see on my objective stack. Those are the first two. Once it's kind of got this, move into the next step. Okay. Um, so, uh, Graham, what, Closebot is a white label program, man. So you can get the white label version. So whitelabelsuite.com forward slash Closebot. You can get a white label account and they can then have their own Closebot or you can do it for them as a service. Right. So um, this is the prompt. Be helpful and answer questions for them. Nice. Three, um, give answers. Be helpful and answer questions. And again, you guys are going to need to change out your brand because otherwise you'll confuse your bot. Be helpful and let people know the specific parts of Prospect Falcon that would help with their queries. That is the next one. Then we have, um, and see how this is a give info. Give. Find Because I've got my knowledge base, just give all the answers. Whatever I can answer for this person, answer them, right? Give info. That's why it's green. Um, but ask if it's okay. Get permission to to ask a few questions that will help you tailor your answers. Now, one of the things that Bryce has said, and let me just copy this and then I can talk, can't walk and chew, chew gum at the same time, right? Um, need the name, okay to ask questions. There we go. Like that, okay. Um, one of the things that Bryce has said is that the stacking of these objectives isn't important. It doesn't, you can't, it doesn't matter which order they're in. Is it okay to ask questions is above the give answers section? It doesn't matter. Whatever order they're in doesn't matter. The bot will cover all of those objectives at once. So if it recognizes that it needs to ask this before that, it will do so. Okay. Uh, is this system going to change drastically for every client that you onboard says Haji? No, um, potentially yes. In the next bot, less so because the objectives, let me come face to face with that question because this is important. Um, the objectives for every company are pretty much the same. Find out who I'm talking to, find out what they're looking for, help them with any answers of, um, of information I'm giving, and then either book them into my sales calendar or get them to take a next step. Like realistically, every business wants that same flow of things to happen, right? 
Who am I talking to? What do you need? How can I help? Okay, cool. Can we help you? Great. If we can, this is what I want you to do next. Either book in with my team or go and buy something from me, right? So it doesn't matter if you're a bakery or a marine company or a business coach. I still want to know who am I talking to and what do they need? How can I help? Are these, are we a good fit? Great. Move them in. So it will change Haji in the, in the fact that the next company that you bring on won't be selling a lead generation software. So you won't be able to use the exact prompts, right? Um, are you B2B? Are you B2C? That's like, it's not relevant, but there'll be a flow that is relevant for every customer. Who am I talking to? How can I help you? Do we have what you need? If we do, can we organize for you to get started? Like that's the flow. So it's going to change just in the knowledge base and the specific questions, but the flow of information is going to stay the same, if that makes sense. All right. So um, let me keep going here. Um, conversationally ask the lead to get the questions. And as I said, the stacking here doesn't matter. Uh, I'll give you this one, the average lead value. Determine the average lead value of a client's name, okay, uh, of client name. So, okay to ask questions. Hey, Mr. Kyle, in the background, could you please go into the next two bots and do this same thing with the objectives so that I can um, cover this reasonably quickly with the team and give them the information at the end, if that's okay. All right. So I'm literally getting the title. Kyle, for you, for us. Uh, might be delayed as I'm responding to all the comments, but yes. Oh, cool. Okay. All right. Well, we'll get there, guys. Like, um, yeah, the doc will be updated and we'll make sure we've got everything there. Uh, but you can see what I'm doing here. So, um, so in our objectives, I'm literally just giving this in. Um, now, we you have to set the fields for these ones in GHL before Closebot can see them. So I've got a field here of average lead value. All right. And I'm telling the bot, when you get the answer to this question, fill out that field. All right. So there's a couple of fields that we've set up. Average lead value, B2B, B2C, or both. Type of leads you're looking for. Um, and what was the other one? Um, I'll, I'll cover it in a second. But set those fields up in GHL. So that when you get to this step in the close bot, it will update that field for you. So now, again, I'm asking in a conversational way, are you looking for B2B leads or B2C leads or, or both? And the client says both. Cool. Fields updated inside of GHL. Now, when my sales team are looking at all of the data, they know exactly what this customer is up to. All right. Um, Randall says, I have the pimp Mac daddy white level suite close button GHL. You sure do. Um, yeah. So Laura, is it enterprise where we set up this whole thing? Yeah, it is. Absolutely. And you guys are on fire with our questions. It's great. Thank you, Kyle, for keeping up. Appreciate you. All right. Um, so understand what the client will be worth. Did I do that one? Uh, uh, yes. Understand what a new client will be worth. They may answer with a number, a range, and knowing the value will help us know that our system can provide value to them. Okay, cool. So next. So understand the value. And guys, again, maybe I'll put in here an extra step. Uh, you guys need to update your custom fields, right? So you need to create these custom fields in GHL so Closebot can see them. Cool. Next, um, B2C, B2B, or both. All right. So B2B, B2C, or both. Six. B2B, B2C, or both. Again, Closebot are going to give you this bot, guys. So just tell them White Label Suite sent you, and they will put it in your account. But I'm putting it on the Google Doc as well so that you can build it and you can see our structure of how it works. Cool. Um, again, this is updating a field. Okay. Um, I I didn't say to skip this objective. Why? Because I want the bot to ask this, even if we know it, because then it helps the bot to determine how to flow the conversation, right? It's a gather information, ask it twice. I've, I've never understood the sensitivity setting. I, I don't know what it does. I'm sure there's a knowledge base article on it somewhere. It's just always set at 50. So I just leave it at 50. I don't know what it does. Um, all right, but it works. It's great. So I've never changed it. If I need to know what it does, I'll ask Bryce and he'll tell me. Um, but for now, I set it at 50 and I leave it at 50. Great. Right. That's the next one. Kind of leads. So this is important. Why? Are you looking for realtors, business coaches, et cetera? Because then Closebot actually will tell the person how to find those specific leads which is amazing. It'll say, oh, you're looking for realtors in the B2B space? Use the industry search. It's very, very cool. Um, the prompt is that. 
and the specifics are understand the requirements, seeing if we can clarify the niche or type of clients the leads is interested in finding. Done. Let's go. Number eight. All right. We're nearly there. So we can see that we're finding information, answering any questions, getting specific details from them, asking their phone number. Okay. Now, we most of the time have it with the way that we've set this up. Um, because we're getting people to download that free report, but people are coming to our website without going to that free report. So if we don't have their phone number, get it. Right. And looking for a valid phone number, we can send a coupon. So this is kind of our, we, we tossed up all kinds of lead magnets on Prospect Falcons. Like, should we give away five strategies for um, getting your first cold emails, all that stuff? We said, just give them cash. So we're like, We'll give you $50 off your first month if you engage with our AI system. Get your coupon. And that's a, we just make sure that it works so beautifully well. People are like, we don't give away free trials. Um, and again, that's in the knowledge base. You can update that if you want to. We don't give away free trials because people don't ever use free stuff. Um, but if you pay, you've paid and you're going to get rebuilt next month, you'll use it and um, it works. But again, you guys have your own business and choice about how you want to set that stuff up. Cool. So um, get the phone number, ask ask only once. Like, don't be aggressive on it. Now, the next piece, this is both give information. All right. So point out the process. This is specific information on how your leads tool works. Point out the process. So um, specify, the sp <laughs> specify the specific. Well done, Walt. Specify the specific parts of the demonstration that allow people to see and find the types of leads they're looking for. Okay. Remember, I've uploaded a transcription so it knows what I cover in the uh, in the system. Warren, the angry monkey, knows that bot sensitivity allows you to determine how sensitive the bot should be when determining whether or not to complete an objective. Okay, cool. So if you set it at 100, it's like really finely monitoring to see if the objective has been met or not. If you set it at 50, it kind of doesn't, it kind of cares, kind of doesn't. We just leave it at 50 and it seems to be working pretty well. 99 is as high. Yep, cool. Um, point out the process. And then this is the extra piece of information. Once you explain the area of the demonstration that can find the leads for the person, establish if the system will be helpful for them. So if you have a conversation with our bot, um, it will suggest for you, so the industry search will find specific details and blah, 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 blah. Is that helpful? Does that help you understand? Okay. Um, so establish that the answer has been helpful. 10. Next is... After pointing out the process, answer any questions. Answer any questions. In the background, that's the one I was saying that um, the bot did an amazing job with somebody who just asked all kinds of stuff and gave really great answers, but still kept it focused on Prospect Falcon. So it was just the st most stunning responses ever. Uh, be helpful and thorough. Answer any questions factually and direct them to purchase if they are ready. Just wondering if I've got... Um, just segue. You guys can have a break from watching me copy and paste. I'll see if I can find that person. It was a while ago. Uh, where was it? Hold that screen there for a while. I need some free leads. Yeah, sure. Go for it. Give me a buck. <laughs> There's plenty out there, Stacey. There's plenty, plenty, plenty out there. Um, just trying to see if I can find that conversation. That was just so amazing. Um, don't know. I've got 450 people to scroll through here. I can't remember the person's name. I thought it would jump to my eyes, but there's so many of them. Yeah. So, um, this person asked about filling their event and what strategies should they use? And it was just incredible. Um, hmm. Can't see it. Doesn't matter. Uh, Paula? Was it you, Paula? I know she, Paula's a client. Uh, so, guys, actually, we'll go through Paula's thing here, right? So, Paula's become a client. 
So this turned into a sale. Uh, I'm looking for homeowners that make a minimum of 50K with investment history. That's a great target market. Our software can help you find homeowners making at least 50K with history of investments. How detailed do you need? Like, look at the conversation here. How detailed do you need the investment history to be? They have that they have a current investment portfolio. Perfect. We can definitely help with that. By the way, I didn't catch your name. What should I call you? Paula. Nice to meet you, Paula. Before we dive deeper, would it be all right if I ask you a few questions? Now that you've seen my objective stack, can you see how this is flowing? Um, this will help me provide you with the most relevant information. Okay, great. Could you tell me a bit about the industry you're in and what your typical approach or strategy is when reaching out to clients? This will help me tailor the feature of Prospect Falcon to suit your needs. I'm in the financial consultant industry and I currently use Data Axel for leads. I'm interested in switching. That's a great move. Prospect Falcon can definitely enhance your lead generation with real-time data. Guys, can you see how freaking cool this is? Right. So this is not the one that I was actually asking for. Um, actually looking for, but this is a really great example anyway. It's a great move. Prospect Falcon can definitely do this. I'll send you a special $50 coupon to get you started. Can you share your phone number? Phone number given. Thanks for sharing. I've sent you the coupon. Um, are you looking for high net worth individuals, retirees or another group? Look at the logic there. It's gone back to the first answer she gave understanding who they're looking for, middle income retirees, consumers, et cetera. That's a solid focus. Knowing the average value of each client to your business can help us tailor your prospect. What's a, what's a, what's a lead worth to you? A thousand bucks. Great. With an average client value of a thousand dollars, Prospect Falcon can help maximize your ROI. Guys, can you see this? The self-selling AI system is just freaking amazing. So she went on to become a client. Um, lots and lots of cool stuff in there. And then our, our other stuff took over, which is really great. That wasn't the one I was looking for, but this particular step, be helpful and thorough and answer any questions and find and answer any questions factually and redirect them to become a purchaser, right? So um, that's that step. Moving on, um, redirect to a sale attempt twice. So this is the next one here. 11, read a set to a sale. Again, I'm just, I'm going to, guys, you get all of this when you ask Closebot for it, but at least now you can see how I've built it. Okay, nothing in that extra prompt, nothing to update. Once you determine that the client has asked the main questions on their mind, get them to buy it, right? And then I do that again. Why? Because that's the point of the bot. <laughs> No extra info. But you can see that I've told the bot to be personable and nice and not forceful. So when I'm asking to keep going for the sale, it's just in a nice way. Invite them to purchase. We want them to purchase. They can sign up on our website. Now, guys, please make sure you change your, your um, website there. Actually, I'll do that because I know somebody will copy and paste it and it won't be working. Um, yourwebsite.com. All right, and I think we're done. And oh yeah, have you enrolled for the coupon? Again, this is give info. So this is again, our own personal strategy. We give away a $50 coupon off their first month um, or $50 off their first payment if they buy the annual. And the final step is, um, have you got your coupon? All right. So that's our, that is bot one. Uh, so Kate, I didn't think white levels we could find the clients that Paula was looking for. Actually it can. We've got heaps and heaps of B2C strategies there. Okay. Heaps and heaps. We train all the time on B2C um, and finding high net worth individuals would be um, the best way to do it would be to reach out to databases that have um, those clients existing. So you're going to be reaching out to, uh, retirement planning companies, um, you're going to be reaching out to investment organizations, you're going to be reaching out to, and you're going to be forming those relationships. I would also use the people search and search for um, high skill roles like managing director, CEO, president, because those roles are typically the people that have advanced through the ranks and are going to meet Paula's needs. So B2B is where we play best by far. Like that's where we just, we sing B2B, but there's a heap of B2C strategies as well. Cool. Um, yeah, Laura, you're exactly right. Yeah. Strategic liaisons. Okay. You got it. All right. So where are we up to? Let me just pause for a second. Come face to face again. Sorry guys. I, I wanted to have all this bit out for you, but, um, things happen. So, um, we use white label suite to find the leads. We've got specific AI prompts that does some really cool research on those leads. We engage those leads in multi-outreach 
like we always teach, send an email, drop a LinkedIn, contact them on Instagram. Now, what we do on those multi-platforms is we tell them we send an email because I want the click, right? So Benji, I can see here, if I'm sending an email to Benji, uh, I've got the click in that email. And then I'll reach out to Benji on LinkedIn and say, hey, Benji, Walt here. I just sent you an email. Can you confirm you got it? Right? So when I do a multi-platform approach, that's exactly the way I do it. I'm like email, wait a day, LinkedIn to alert them about the email, wait a day, Facebook page, next day, wait a day, Instagram, email, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, LinkedIn, Facebook, email, right? And people say, doesn't, isn't that a lot of work? Well, yeah, but I like money. So I'll dig for the gold. It's okay. And I, my VA, um, Carla, who's just freaking amazing, um, manages all of that on the opportunity board inside of White Label Suite. She has a board for every single lead that comes in. And I'll show you guys. Um, where are we? In our outreach database. She has a board that she just manages every lead and moves them from one step to the next. So we don't do spray and pray, all right? We don't just send out 10,000. We qualify. Are they the right market? Are we doing all that kind of stuff? We send out the email, okay? If they open the email, they go here. If they click, they've gone here. And then she moves them through. Instagram message sent, LinkedIn message sent, all right? And moves them across the board. So tomorrow she'll come in and she'll get all of these guys and she'll reach out to them on Instagram. And then she'll get all the Instagram guys and reach out to them on LinkedIn, right? And then move, like we use the tool. That's how we keep track of that stuff. So we've found the people, we've researched the people, we've contacted the people, the people engage and say, sure, what do you got? Talk to me. Closebot takes over, has a conversation and directs them towards the next step, which is either book in an appointment or make a sale. Now, let me just see if I've missed anything on my steps. Yes, I have. Cool. Um, all right, guys, uh, does anybody want a, a five minute break? Dave, I like money too. Um, can we get your opportunity stages? Yeah, definitely. Um, we'll give them all for you, mate. Um, I, actually, that's part of our enterprise install. So yeah, definitely. Um, what we've got to cover next. So I've only covered one bot, all right? I've only covered one bot. Um, I just want to show you the follow-up bot and I want to show you the service bot, okay? But I'm, I'm not going to do that so detailed. I'm going to leave Kyle to in the background, madly copy and paste every objective step so that he, so that we can have that on the, on the Google doc. So we've got two other bots that I'll just talk about quickly. And then, um, and then I'll show you the GHL automation that makes all of this work. All right. Are you kidding me? Is this what you're going to do for us? Yeah. Can you love us anymore? I mean, seriously. I try my best. I do every with everything I got right. from the bottom of my soul. Can we like just give Walt like a total hand. I mean, what a champ to show you're up awesome. today. Thank, Thank you. you so much, I appreciate Walt. it. I appreciate Thank it. You. So, um, all right. So thank you uh, again, guys. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to very quickly cover the, the other two bots that we use. And one of them is just like mind blowing because it's the upsell bot and it's, <laughs> I love it so much, but there's a really specific piece of the GHL automation that makes the follow-up stuff work. So I'm going to show you the other two bots and the, the structure of those and then I'm going to show you the GHL automation that makes all of that work and talk that through. So stick with me. All right. So the other two bots. So I've talked about, there are three bots in Closebot that we build out. And when we say the, four, just to recap, the four bot system is white label suite, Closebot, SynthFlow, GHL. So when we sell the four bot system, we're selling those four pieces of technology, which you can get a white label copy for each of them. Um, and if you go through our link, we give you all our templates. Cool. Um, and if you want to know the links, whitelabelsuite.com forward slash closebot, whitelabelsuite.com forward slash synthflow, whitelabelsuite.com forward slash GHL, and you can have the look. Um, or you can go direct to them if you want to. So um, the four bot system is that, but I'm going to show you the other, the other bots we've built in Closebot. The first one is a follow-up bot. Okay. Now the follow-up bot is talking to somebody that they already know is in our database. And the follow-up bot is triggered by our system one hour after they initially make contact with us and 24 hours after they initially make contact with us. And this is really important, you guys, and you probably have to watch this piece a couple of times. I know I did when I was learning it from Bryce. What we do is at the very, at every single time a customer responds to us or engages with us, 
we start a one hour timer and a 24 hour timer. What? Every time on a conversation that has 50 back and forth messages, every time they message us, that timer resets. Why? Because I've got my follow up bot to reach out to them one hour after the last time I heard from them. Right. So message, 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 message. Hello. 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 No more messages. Oh, okay. Wait an hour. Give them another shot and say, hey, you, you're good. Did you get everything you needed? Okay. And then 24 hours after the last communication with them. And I'm trying to think to myself, the last time they spoke to me was 1030 at night. They were still awake. Tomorrow, I'm going to message them at 10, whatever the time is, it's 24 hours after the last time I heard from them. So we have a follow-up bot and it's triggered by a one hour countdown and a 24 hour countdown. Okay. So that's the next bot I'll show you. And I'll show you the, the structure in GHL. Guys, watch this on the replay, get all the details, all that, all that good stuff. Um, and then we have a service and upsell bot, which I hug because the way it works is so cool. And um, we integrate it with Synthflow, but it basically follows up everybody that buys our lead system and invites them to find out more about the $10,000 war bot system. We are now using the lead system at almost like a, a loss leader in a supermarket as a, as a lead magnet. We're getting people in on the leads tool and we're upselling them a $10,000 four bot system and we're doing it all with AI. It's freaking awesome. I love it. Um, and this is the whole thing that we've been teaching you guys this month. So um, I'm kind of vamping. Kyle, are you getting enough time to do those objectives in the background? I'll stop asking you questions so that you can keep going on it. Um, hopefully, you um, I haven't even got that far yet. Still working through the chat. Okay, mate. no worries at all. So, guys, while I talk this through, at some point, if you give Kyle a break in the in the questions, I, I told you guys ask as many questions as you want, but just pause for a few minutes. Kyle's going to go and copy and paste all of those objectives into that doc. Again, you're going to get it anyway. It's kind of a moot point, but I want you to get that doc at the end of this call and just go, <gasps> yeah. All right. So you will have everything there that you need. All right. So the next bot is our follow-up bot. Let me jump across and show you what happens. And I'll, I'll kind of show you the, the countdown timer and all of that stuff as well. So doot. let's start in GHL actually, because it's important to understand the, um, the timer. Um, so, and again, we give you the, the screen dumps of this. Can we share individual workflows? on a share link, I don't know, but we'll get it to you if you, if you really need it. Uh, let's jump across. There's one automation. Yes, you can. Lovely. Can I? Uh, let's go. This main bot. Uh, I can't. It's kind of a pain in the butt. What you end up doing is, is you create a sub account and then you just- um, Snapshot like, it. Yeah, then you just write correct. To go and make a snapshot just out of the one, yeah. Mm. If it, yeah. yeah, we'll see what we can do. Um, okay, so there's one. So this is what uh, what uh, Bryce teaches in um, in Closebot. Um, yes, there is Laura. So um, this is the th this is the one that drives everything. Okay, um, so this is a hundred percent the the main thing with Closebot. All right. Um, Dave, do we really need all of these tools? Big monthly expense. Dave, you're an enterprise customer, so you're going to get them anyway, <laughs> right? Um, all right. So, um, right. What what fires this off? When a customer replies on Facebook Messenger, on live chat, on SMS, on Instagram, on WhatsApp, take care of it. Now, I haven't included email, but um, you can also include email there as well, right? Now, following this through, I've added a couple of steps to Bryce's own thing, but we put them on an opportunity board that says the AI is currently in a conversation or has talked to this person somewhere in the last 24 hours. Okay. Now this is really key. Which bot will reply? This is really, really, really important. Based on a whole bunch of things, depends on whether they go to bot one, bot two, bot three, or bot four. Right? So what is bot one? Bot one is the one that we just talked about, 17444. All right. Now, what's the condition that they'll go and speak to our sales bot? Which bot will reply? If they, um, if they've, let me go down to bot one, 24 hour follow up is after an hour, payment fail. Okay. None. <laughs> 
if they've never integrated interacted with us before, so there's nothing that's ever been tagged on this customer ever, they're going to come to bot one and going to start to talk to our sales bot. First interaction. So nothing in the customer's history means chat to my sales bot, right? And I tell it which specific bot number to route this conversation to, okay? So we've never heard from them before. Talk to my sales bot. Now, also what happens is every time they reply, every time, every time, every time, every time, it removes them from the one hour countdown, right? Takes them out. Hey, they replied. Stop the one hour. And then restart it again, <laughs> right? Because now I'm waiting for the next reply. So one hour after the last time they replied, we'll send them the, um, the follow-up bot, okay? Now, let's have a look here. Uh, I've also got a payment fail bot in there, but I've got um, bot number two is the follow-up. And again, this is really important. So which bot will reply if they uh, are in the 24-hour follow-up system or the one-hour follow-up system, they will come down to bot two, which is the one I'm about to show you guys, 18... 18032. Now, there's a really important. Yes, sir. Hi, oh, who have I got there? Adrian. Adrian. Hi, Adrian. How are you doing, man? Did you have a specific question? No, I think that was Adrian just uh, on a phone call. Right. So um, if they're in the 24 hour or the one hour countdown, send them to bot two, which is the follow up bot. All right. And this is the piece that makes the follow up bot work. You need to have a little piece of code in here in the custom data that says follow-up is true. Again, that's training from Bryce. But when I'm sending them to a follow-up bot, they need to have communicated before. Follow-up true doesn't work. will kill the bot if they've never had a conversation before, right? So that's why if they've had a conversation, they've been tagged. And if they've been tagged, send them to the follow-up bot. Jeff, go for it. Jeff, hand up there. All right, I'll come back to you, Jeff. All right, so this, this workflow makes all of this work. And I'll just, again, show you the very quickly. There's a couple of things in here. Um, the one-hour trigger follow-up, the 24-hour trigger follow-up. This is nice and easy. It literally just says um, after that reply comes through, after the reply comes through, have they bought, like, hang on a second, have they bought something? If they've bought something, then just... No need to follow them up, right? Done, job, happy, cool. Uh, if they haven't bought something, that's when I'm going to push them back through to bot three, the follow-up, and add them to a 24-hour countdown, right? So all of these workflows kind of stack together. Uh, and I'll go into a little bit more detail at the end if we've got time. If not, we'll see if we can um, do a separate training on them. Okay, so let's have a look at bot two, the follow-up bot. 18032, the follow-up bot. And I'll just grab the objectives. You can see that it's different, okay? And I'm just going to take a photo as we did before of the other one and put it onto our doc. And this is the piece where I come in here and say bot two and Kyle's already done the photo and he's a legend. Thank you, sir. All right, so a little bit of a different flow here, right? And we start with, remember, green for give information, purple for get information. Um, we'll have all of the objectives here. So I'm not going to go through each one like I did last time. Kyle's putting it on the doc. And Closebot will give you this if you ask them for it, all right? So it's bot number 18032, the follow-up bot. Right, so re-establish connection, right? And again, this is just important. But look at all of the fields that are coming through from GHL now. Look at the information, contact lead, a type of lead. Remember we said, are you looking, what kind of, what kind of customers are you looking for? Are you looking for realtors? Are you looking for business brokers? What kind of customers are you looking for? Um, what's the average lead value? So all of that information is already in GHL from our first conversation. Now our follow-up bot pulls that information in and says, hey, just following up, how's things going? Did we get all the answers for you that we could give? But it knows all of the previous information that we've, that we've already established from the client, okay? So this prompt here, re-establish connection. So I'm following up, I'm reaching back out to a lead that has communicated with me an hour ago knowing all the information that we've already asked. So I don't need to ask that again. Okay. And moving on. Now I do have in here, skip this objective if it's already done. I want to ask again for the average lead value. 
if you followed any of my sales training over the last three years, this one question is the one that sells your leads tool more than any other. So I'm going to make damn sure I've got that information. Now I've told the bot, skip it if it's already filled out. Like, don't ask for it again if you've already got it. But if you don't got it, get it. Because I want to know, what's an average client worth to you? If I get a reel to tell me that an average client is worth $3,000, then my $97 a month lead program is a no-brainer, right? If I have somebody who says my average client is five to $10,000, I've seen Closebot in a real conversation say to a client when they objected to the price, um, well, considering your average client value is around five to $10,000, this seems like a great investment, don't you think? Made the sale for me because we knew exactly how much the client was worth. So getting this information is, is again, really important. So I reestablish the connection and I pull all of the data in from Closebot, uh, from GHL. I get the name if I don't have it. I really get their um, lead value if I don't have it. I get what kind of leads they're looking for if I don't have it. Now, again, we probably have it, but there's a chance that the conversation um, got cut off last time. They sent us one message and they got, but maybe I didn't get that info, but I need it. So if I've got it, cool, move on. If I don't got it, get it, right? Next, you'll recognize these ones because everything else here is the same. Point out the process, answer any questions, redirect to the sale a couple of times, get them into a calendar if we haven't been able to get them into a sale. Okay, that last one is different. That's linking to a calendar and you um, need to get the exact calendar link from GHL. There's, again, there's training on that. Every calendar has a unique identifier and you can put the calendar link in the Closebot and sync that up. So Closebot will check the calendar inside of GHL, find an available spot, book it in with the client in live time. Okay. So um, that's the last piece there. So this, I, this was a question for us as a company. Do, do we want to book them into a calendar or do we want to try and get them to buy something? Honestly, on a $97 sale, just head up, there's no risk. Go and buy it. Do you really need to speak to one of my team to make this decision? Okay, fine. All right. But first is like, come on, zero risk, coupon to get started. It's a $97 no sale. Contract. No contract, no month to month. Come on, buy the thing or don't. But if you really, 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 really need to speak to one of my salespeople after my bots have gone through all this effort and I've probably paid to get the lead and I've done all that outreach and all that kind of stuff and you're in my ecosystem, if you really want to speak to one of my team, fine. All right, but close bot, get the sale. Book the, book the appointment as a last resort, right? So that's my bot too. This is my follow-up. And again, what makes this work is that little tag in the GHL automation that says follow-up true. Okay, so I'll cover that in a little bit more detail in a sec. So that's bot two is the follow-up bot. And what I love about this bot is this first thing, um, reestablish connection and get all of that data, all of that good stuff that we've already contacted the inf and known about, all right, including all the research, why it was like everything, get it into this conversation. So you start from the start and you know what's going on. All right, Stacy, go for it. Stacy, you're muted. There were a bunch of really fire questions from John Logar. Okay. Mm. I mean, like just, it was just incredible. Where would you, I mean, if you were taking all the John Logar notes yeah. and like how he was really just getting the people to like start to converse. Okay. With and getting the information so that they're, they, in a sense, are closing themselves. Where would you put some of those John, John Logar questions in this so that you're having the bot sort of ask what those, a those are fabulous question what a fabulous question because john logar's questions were fire phenomenal fire right like i insane. would everybody's listening to it as they're sleeping right now right absolutely um so and that actually answers laura's question there as well indirectly um john is specifically teaching you how to sell this whole system to a business and his questions were things like do you currently have a method for following up your leads and activity? Huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you currently have a way to track everything that's been said and communicated to a lead and, uh, you know, driven it forward? Huh. Don't have that. Huh. Do you currently have a way to generate new opportunities on a regular basis every single month? No, I don't have. Oh, okay, cool. Like these are the kind of questions that John's putting in place. Right. And, this is, guys, let me let me come back again face-to-face -face, because it's important that I distinguish between um, Laura's question and John's training. 
So Laura said, I'm not sure if all my clients are going to have a low ticket offer or I can just get a sale off the front end. You know, a lot of my clients, I'm going to need to book them in. What we're, what we're selling with Prospect Falcon is the leads tool that you guys all have access to as a white label suite client, right? That's that's like everybody who's a white label suite client, you have your own branded leads tool. This is about you making sales of that, okay? But for your clients, right? And to answer Stacy's question in the same way, I would put those questions in instead of asking, um, are you B2B, B2C or both? What kind of leads are you looking for? I would stack it in right there. Um, do you currently have a method for follow, following up and qualifying every single call? Do you currently have uh, a system in place for generating new leads for your business? Do you currently um, have a, a, a track in progress where every single client, every single time gets a follow-up qualified and booked into a calendar? Huh. And then one more question, which was John's like super fire question. Um, well, if you did have that, what do you think it would do for your business? I would put that series of John's questions right alongside, let me show you where, right alongside every other question in Closebot. I would literally build a new priority stack. So I would, to do it like this, ah, oh, this is my life system. I won't stuff this up. Um, now I need to delete it. No, no. You could maybe even put it like in a knowledge base. I would, but the knowledge base is generic. Okay. When I'm, when yeah. I, like the knowledge base is generic. This is all information you know. Those questions yeah. are so important that I would actually um, put it into the objectives, like make it an objective of the bot to get the client to answer those questions. How would I do that? Let me clone this so I don't stuff up my live bot. Um, so I'm going to clone it. So this is going to be my my clone bot copy, all right? And Stacey, to answer that question, I would put it right in here. Right. So here, me... here, here's what you could do too. Okay. To accomplish what was just asked too for the higher ticket person. Right. Mm -hmm. So that the bot knows whether or not it should schedule or just close. Okay. Right. It, like, what do you think you, uh, what do you think you should pay for something like this? And if they say 20 grand, okay. And their mindset is 20 grand, then the bot books them. If they say a eh, hundred bucks, then close them. Yeah. Right. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because that that's was what, a John Lower question. That's exactly where the close bot just works so beautifully. Establish this about the client based on right. that knowledge. Do that. So right, cool. Right, right. So um, establish with the client currently has a lead generation method, right? So this is a lead gen question. All right. And I would put in here, um, so I'd create a field called lead gen method, yes or no. All right. Make all of that the, the way. And then I would literally put these questions for John right into the stack. So I'm going to move everything here. Oh, I need an extra uh, booking is there. So I'm moving my stack right now to make room for that one that I just asked. There we go. Uh, lead gen. Okay. So now I'm just going to build John Logos question here. Lead gen. Do you currently have a lead gen process? Um, do you have a method or no, I need the bot to ask it. So establish from the client if they have an AI process where every lead is followed up without fail. Um, AI follow-up. Now, the extra information here I would give would be something along the lines of um, uh, it's important to know that the client does or doesn't have this process in place and remind the client that they are experiencing, remind the client that they are experiencing the AI follow up system right now and Establish if the client feels this will add value to their business, All right? So that's how I would write it. And again, I would create a, a specific custom field for that. So this is John Logo's question. Um, so let the bot understand and ask the client, do you currently have a process for AI uh, follow-up and lead qualification? By the way, 
you're experiencing that right now with our system. So this is what it would be like. And update the field, have it in place, ask the John Logo questions. So Stacy, to answer your question, I would literally stack it as an objective in the, in the bot process itself. And when we get to synth flow, when we get to synth flow, um, I would do the same thing there. Like let synth flow ask those questions, those four, five questions from John Logan every single time. Like they're just worth tens of thousands of dollars. And your synth flow and close bot salespeople are better than your best salesperson because they never take a day off. They never call in sick. They always stay on script. They call every lead all the time without fail. Um, but that's how I would do it, Stacey. Hopefully that was helpful. All right. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Kyle is still answering questions. You're freaking amazing, dude. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, more objectives. Randall, you can have as many objectives as you like, man. Like there's no limit on the amount of objectives you can have. So um, that's coming. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Cool. All right. So that's bot two. It's the follow-up bot. It's, it's triggered by that little piece of code that says follow-up equals true. Guys, this is two hours now that we're in. I, thank you so much for the 70 people that are staying with me. That's amazing. We've lost 12 along the way. I'm sorry for being boring, but I'll try my best to keep on path. Right. So that's the follow-up bot. Uh, last one there is um, I've got the upsell bot and I also have a payment card follow-up bot, but I haven't got that working yet because we just need to pull the GHL rebuild thing. I want my bot number three, support and upsell. Cool. Far from boring. Thank you, Graham. Appreciate you, man. All right. So this last one, and again, just because Kyle's a legend, I'm going to know that that's already in the spot. Look at this doc now. It looks amazing. All right. Carl's about to put that screenshot in there. And by the time I finish talking, it will be. Um, so the screenshot of the bot number three. Now you can see that this is really short, right? This is really, really short. Um, and this is the follow-up support and upsell bot. This bot kicks in after somebody's been a buyer with us. Okay. So now, I want you to imagine the scenario, and this happens all the time. Um, somebody has had an inter interaction with the bot on the on the website via live chat or via SMS or or Facebook or whatever, and they've bought. And even though we send them an email that says "amazing, welcome," here's the onboarding, um, here's the um, here's how to get hold of support, here's everything you need. If they're out and about somewhere and they're like, oh, I got a question. I can't find my onboarding email, but I've still got the thread of the conversation from a week ago when I first engaged these guys. I'll just respond on that, right? So now the response come in and this is already a buyer. Now, the very last thing I want to do to a person who spent money with me is start qualifying and selling them, right? So if they're already a buyer, I'm just bringing them back into the bot and the bot is reestablishing rapport, okay? Welcome them in a friendly way. Make sure they feel heard and supported, okay? Confirm their name. And again, just point out the process. If they've got any questions about the bot, answer any questions, make them feel welcome and comfortable. And if they need further interaction, send them to support, okay? So this is making sure they're all, you know, if you've got a question, get it answered. And when you, again, when we combine this with synth flow and I can probably, uh, I'll keep, I'll keep this one on close bot for now, but when we combine this with synth flow, the phone rings 24 hours after they buy and they say, hi, Walt, just making sure you found everything. Okay. Did you get your logins? Have you gone through the onboarding? Everything good. Okay, cool. Would you like to know more about our AI service where we can follow up and qualify every lead for you? Yes. Okay, great. I'll get my team to get in touch. That yes on the voice triggers an automation that gets my sales team to say, hey, John, saw you were interested in finding out more about our AI system. When can we talk, right? So combining these together. So our three bots inside a closed bot are the main sales bot, the follow-up bot, and then the customer service bot if they're already a buyer, okay? So the last piece of today's training is then inside of GHL, we've built, and I'll pause, I'll pause for questions. I know you guys are gonna have a ton of questions. Um, a lot of which probably you could get after watching the replay. But if you've got anything, like maybe I've missed something or maybe you're not quite clear on something, feel free to ask. Because um, right now what I'm going to do for this last kind of 10 or 15 minutes, I guess, is go into GHL and just look at those automations and make sure I show you how they work. All right. Um, Robert, we'll see what we can do. I'm not sure where um, we, I'll see what we can do. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. Right. Okay.
Kyle, how are you doing, mate? Are you keeping up? Yeah, all good. All right. Sweet, man. Thank you. Okay, cool. Um, right. So the last piece that I wanted to cover today then was um, we've got the knowledge base. Kyle's added that to the doc. Um, we'll, guys, we'll, we'll for those of you who are watching this on a replay or, you know, time later, we'll turn the doc link into a pretty link so that you can always find it. Um, but for those who are here on the call, I'll give you the link to the Google doc at the end and you can just go in and make a copy and everything that, that we've been walking through will be there for you. All right. And then we'll give you a pretty link as well. All right, cool. So last piece then is back into GHL and into the automations. Let's go. All right. So a couple of different um, things here. We start with this main one that I showed you before. Okay. Everything comes from this automation. Okay. And this is what Bryce teaches with a few extra additional bits and pieces. So what we're doing now, now we know that we've got multiple bots in the system. Okay. We've got people who have purchased, people who are in a follow up, people who have never talked to us before and getting into a sale. We can see how the split works. Okay. So the split is, first of all, have they purchased? If they're a purchaser, if their tag includes buyer or has a payment fail, all right, then um, they're going to go to the um, payment fail bot, which is that one actually. Okay. So the payment fail bot, we haven't quite got this nailed yet at the moment. It still just says go to support. Um, and this literally says, okay, follow up is true. And this is the piece that makes these extra bots work. Extra prompt. Okay. So remembering in our closed bot sequence, we had the prompt itself and then the extra prompt. This inserts it into the extra prompt step. Start the sentence by saying, hi, contact first name, just checking in. Notice that the payment didn't go through for your prospect Falcon. Can we help there? All right. So this is a bot communicating with a buyer once the payment has failed saying, hey, Mr. Customer, your credit card bounced. Can we help you sort that out? All right. Now, what we're still sorting out is the GHL payment gateway to insert their payment link, all that kind of stuff. We're nearly there. But um, we're just at the moment, the payment fail bot is the same as the support bot. It's just sending them to a Cool. Get in touch with support. We'll sort that out for you. All right. But the split, if they've, if they're a payment fail, they go to the payment fail bot. If it's the 24 hour follow-up bot, they go, uh, they'll go down uh, 24 hour, that one there, right? They'll go down this path. If it's the one hour follow-up, they'll go down this path. If they payment fail, they'll go down this path. If they're a buyer, they go to our support bot. So we can see that these tags show which bot it's going to. And each webhook to the bot, the only thing that changes is the bot number. So if I'm sending them to the support bot, I, did, I, I literally have to just put in the support bot's number. So if they're chatting to me and they already are a buyer, then it goes to support and the support bot will answer them. If they're chatting to me and they're not yet a buyer, but they've already been spoken to and it's a one hour follow-up, they'll go to the one hour follow-up bot which is the, the follow-up bot, follow-up equals true, okay? So this system, I will see if we can get it to you, but um, this, is, this is pretty much what Bryce trains on. Any answer, determine what bot they're going to based on your own system. And underneath that are these steps. First of all, every time they reply, restart the timer. So take them out of the one hour, Put them back into the one hour. So the hour starts again. Every single time they reply, remove them from the follow-up, re-add them to the follow-up. Remove them from the follow-up, re-add them to, to the follow-up. Every single time they reply, they get the can the timer gets canceled and restarted every time. Okay. So that means that there's always a one hour and 24 hour follow-up. Austin, I'm not sure on that answer yet. Um, Kyle, let me just ask you a question in Slack to see if I can answer Austin's question here. Uh, Kyle. Um, okay. Let me know what your thoughts are, mate. Um, okay. So again, every single reply on every single channel comes into closebot 
and de determining on whether they're a buyer or where we've already spoken to them determines which bot they go to. Now, let's just have a look at some of these timers and some of these other things here. So um, the timer, the timer stuff, the one hour timer, as simple as you can possibly imagine, uh, start a one hour timer. Yeah. What we might do, guys, is uh, package this snapshot up and um, make it available in the snapshot store for you guys if you want to, if you want to kind of shortcut some time. Um, cool. So start a one-hour countdown, all right? So we literally put them into an opportunity board, wait for an hour, add the one-hour tag, add them to the one-hour trigger. So in other words, every time they get added to this workflow, it starts a timer, waits for an hour, and adds the one-hour tag. Adding the one-hour tag triggers the bot three follow-up. So as soon as that one hour tag hits, it triggers to the workflow. Dave, you don't need it. You're an enterprise customer. So it triggers to the workflow. Okay. They've, if they're a buyer, don't do anything else. If they haven't bought and that one hour tag gets added, web hook them out to the bot and start the sentence by saying, hi, just following up, just seeing if we could help. All right. And then add them to the 24 hour. Okay. In the 24 hours, exactly the same. It's just more hours. So start a 24-hour countdown. All right, countdown. And I, again, you guys can see the point, but what am I trying to do? When the customer replies on anything, I'll just talk face-to-face -face here for a sec. When the customer replies to anything, I go, I'm, I'm messaging you and I'll make sure that I follow you up in one hour. Beep. And I send them the message. And then the customer gets that message and goes, huh. And they reply to me, thanks very much. And I see that reply coming in and I go, okay, restart my timer. Beep. Because every time they communicate with me one hour later, I'm just making sure that they got the answer that they need if they haven't already bought. If they have already bought, customer service takes over, right? But every time a customer communicates, beep, make sure I follow them up in one hour's time. And in 24 hours time. So I go beep and beep. And if I don't hear back from you, I will follow you up in an hour. And if I still don't hear back from you, I will follow you up again in 24 hours. And that's what we're selling to businesses. Forbes magazine says that 93% of qualified leads never get a single follow-up. And businesses are paying a fortune for those leads. So we're automating the follow-up, one hour, 24 hours. If the customer replies, start the timer again and count down another hour, right? Did you get what you needed? Okay. And 24 hours. So what are the other automations that we've got here? And we'll just we'll kind of wrap this up with a with a bow. And yeah, I think we'll what we'll do is we'll build all of these automations, all of the custom fields, all the custom values into a snapshot. Uh, and we'll pop it up onto the snapshot store. Um, and you guys, if, if you want to build this stuff, you, you can, if you want to just get the, the snapshot, you can. Um, enterprise customers get it. It's part of the part of the deal. Right. So cool, cool, cool. So what we've talked about, am I sharing my screen? Not yet. Sharing my screen. Cool. Um, cool. So we've talked about the main bot and we split that out. Uh, and then we've got the one hour follow-ups. And um, what else have we got? Oh, yeah, this one. So on our site, which is prospectfalcon.com, All right, falcon.com. What we see is I right up the top here, register and receive your $50 off your first month, $50 off the annual plan. Yes, let's do it. So this little, hey, send me my send me my $50 coupon, right, is the other bot, is the other automation here. So coupon delivery, start bot engagement. So literally, this is just the form response text message that kicks off the whole bot conversation. So trigger the form submitted, add the coupon, um, deliver the coupon, wait for an hour. Did they buy? If they didn't, kick them into gear with the, with the follow-up, all right? So that this series of automations that we've got in, in here, this is what makes the close bot piece work. And in the same vein, and we'll do a separate training possibly the same time next week, on the voice piece, there's a whole bunch of voice automations that work in the background here as well, okay? Follow-up, sales, inbound, outbound, receptionist, all that kind of stuff. So- that's it, you guys. That's what makes the whole thing flow. Now, again, just recap. Recap. What have we talked about? White label suite with specific prompts 
generating information about the leads you're reaching out to. Using those prompts, sending that across into your GHL hub, all right? And then connecting that to Closebot so that when I'm reaching out to that client and they engage, Closebot knows all about them, knows how we can help them, can be very specific in its communication. That's what we started with. Knowledge in white label suite, leads generated, that knowledge into GHL, that knowledge into Closebot and communication happening. Then we talked about building out those closed bots with, with objectives to follow a specific path, get more information, give more information. And then we talked about adding additional things like follow-up and customer service once they're a buyer. Okay. And as we said, closed bot will give you the bots and we'll see if we can get our team to um, put all of those automations into a workflow if you uh, just want to get it done. And recapping on what John said yesterday, um, I love this stuff, okay? I will build automation and bots until one o'clock in the morning and all the sun's coming up, but it doesn't make any money. Building the bots doesn't make any money. So do it as a snapshot, install it, get it done, um, get somebody else to build it for you. The most important thing you can do is go and sell the system because that's what makes the cash register ring, okay? Um, if we didn't have Johan on my team, I'd be the happiest, brokest bot builder ever, right? Speaking to customers and talking to them about the value of the service is what makes the cash register ring. And without that, nobody eats. So all of this stuff, I, I want you guys to take away with you that functionally what it does is gets leads, qualifies leads, gets engagement from a customer and follows those customers up to a sale. That's what it does. And that's what you should be selling to your business clients for $5,000 setup and a minimum $1,000 a month all day, every day. Because to them, as John said in his stories yesterday, the value is unbelievable. Mr. Client, do you have a current system that follows up every single lead or just some get missed? Do they follow up every time or sometimes are they tired? Do they get every lead? Do they qualify them? Do they ask the question? Do they get them into the pipeline? Do they make sure that they're sold? Do they make sure that they're followed up? Do they Have you got that? No? Wow. If you did have that, what would it be worth to you? A oh, hundred grand to me at least. Amazing. So would it be worth a hundred grand to you? So when I turn this little contract around on the table and slide it across and it's got 10 grand at the bottom, that's a drop dead simple order, right? So my, my next question is following John's advice from yesterday is, um, what do you want to do with this information? <laughs> right? So bot building and creating all of this stuff is freaking amazing. Getting in front of customers pays the bills and that's the important piece. Okay. So hopefully this has been super helpful for you guys. Um, let me grab the link to that Google doc as we've built it out and come back over here and um, share. Oh, where's my zoom controls going? Too there was screen. something else that was really interesting about John too, was because you just shared this whole thing about how 97, what was it? No, 93% of qualified leads never, receive never get a, a follow single follow-up. Google and that so Forbes magazine. You, you can you can yeah, show what he the was quote. doing too was not just selling the system, but then he was like, listen, I'll run the system on your leads and I'm going to take a commission on what I close, which is a whole other additional revenue stream that was never available because you would just, I mean, you're busy working your own business, right? But if you have that, just sort of picking up the pieces. Amazing. Right? That was cool. That was Isn't slick. That amazing? I was like, whoa, that's fire. So I had a meeting, I had a, I had lucky enough to actually catch up with John in person a little while ago, a couple of weeks ago now. And um, we were talking about his agency and um, he said uh, with this agency, he no longer, lo he no longer does piecemeal work. Every single time he implements this, he gets a piece of the action. Every That's single crazy. time, like he's getting equity, not equity, but he's getting rev share out of doing right. a good job for the client. And Absolutely. he said, in some cases, he's so confident he doesn't charge them anything, Absolutely. but he charges them a higher percentage. And he's like, you know, don't pay me a thing, but just give me 20% of everything I generate. That's right? right. And that's right. like, guys, that whether that suits your model or not, it, it, it's, it's up to you. My personal suggestion is $5,000 setup, 
because you've got to train, you've got to get the knowledge base. You've got to, there's a lot of work actually to get the knowledge about the client's business, to get the knowledge about the client flow, five grand all day, every day. But then implementing the system and charging at least a thousand bucks a month, this can replace multiple staff members in, a, mm -hmm. in an organization. And not only that, never calls in sick, never has an HR problem, never has a day off, an off day. You know, all of that stuff. It, the value is insane, you guys. So again, hopefully that's been valuable. Um, let me give you guys the link to this doc. Um, now, what I want you to do when you get this doc is come up to the top and go file, make a copy. All right, make a copy, make it your own. Um, and on this doc, you'll find our white level suite prompts that we started with, where I talked about creating that link. Remember I said, get a click from an email so I know who the customer is. That email equals contact email is important to put. So it's just whatever your website is.com, question mark, email equals that, All right? And then we got into close bot. We had three bots that we showed you. Our sales bot, which is ID 17444. What is the bot? All of that stuff, how to respond. That stuff stays the same in all of the bots, okay? And the objectives. We, we literally built that all out for you so you can copy and paste if you want to build it. Then we talked about bot two, the follow-up bot, why, important information, et cetera, how to respond. Objectives, reestablish connection, do all that kind of stuff. Everything there. And again, incredible information being brought across from B2B, uh, from GHL. Um, bot three is the service sell and upsell, right? And again, how to build that and done. And what Kyle has also added here for you guys is the knowledge base that drives this, all of the uh, answers in the back of your Closebot system right here. So you can get that, okay? So guys, I'm going to give you this link in the chat box right now, all right? I haven't been able to keep up on any of your questions, guys, but Kyle's done an amazing job in there. Right, so that is the link to the doc. It's in the chat. Get it, go to file, make a copy. Now, if you're watching this and you're like, oh, I didn't see it in the chat box, uh, how do I get it? I'm going to get, turn this into a pretty link. All right. So we're going to turn this into a link and I'll make up a link right now. In fact, we'll do it together. Um, this is going to be whitelabelsuite.com forward slash close bot doc. Yeah, it's locked, Brian. You need to make a copy. It's locked because we want everybody to get it, not edit it. So go file, make a copy and you'll be sweet. Um, let me just create a pretty link here as well. This is white level suite. It's not the right share setting. Okay. Uh, are you sure? Share. Only people with access. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, any with, anyone with the link can view. That's what I want. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Sorry. I thought I'd done the right thing there. All right. Now we should be good to go. And I will turn that into a pretty link, whitelabelsuite.com forward slash close bot doc. So that if you're watching this on a replay, you can still get that doc. Whitelabelsuite.com forward slash close bot doc. I'm just setting that link up right now. It is in the chat for you guys. So whitelabelsuite.com forward slash close bot doc will take you to that Google doc and you'll be sweet. And Carl's already beat me to it. Done. So guys, again, what we what we want you to take away from this whole thing is that you have the tools, the information, and the systems to sell incredible services to business that they are begging for. And it's easy to sell it because you literally just engage them in the system. Mr. Customer, let me show you. How about you just send a little message over here as if you were a client and let it work, right? With the unlimited version in Closebot, you can set up some demo bots. Set up a demo bot for a real estate company. Set up a demo bot for a business coach company. Set up, set up a demo bot for a, I don't know, wholesaler, right? And then when you're talking to those niches, take them to the page, get them to interact and let them sell themselves, right? So again, this whole training is about what we're seeing success with and what you're able to take out into the market. Leads on its own has been the hottest thing ever until now, because now you go leads plus follow-up plus AI systems, Mr. Customer, when do you want to get started? The only restriction I have is how many people I can deal with in a month, because this is so freaking amazing. People are just like, this is what I've been looking for. You give me leads and I have to, I have to work. All right. It's better than nothing. Like every business is just screaming for more customers. And all the way up until now, White Label Suite's been able to say, 
here's your leads. And now what you're able to say is, here's your leads and here's your system to follow them up. And every single time they'll get qualified, engaged, spoken to, no matter whether it's two o'clock in the morning, booked into your calendar, sold your top services, upsold customer service, never miss a day every time. When do you want to start, right? We're so thrilled that you guys have this in your uh, in your toolkit. Um, Kyle and I will work hard on turning all of those automations into a snapshot. Uh, of course, enterprise customers, you've got it already. Um, and guys, again, has this been helpful? You've seen how to bring that info in, how to use Closebot to um, to generate those, how to kind of the thought patterns behind the Closebot objectives and how to make sure that, you know, you can wow a customer with this information. All right. Um, guys, uh, so what, what have we got there? Uh, Ryan says it'd be pretty cool if some, somebody tests the bot from a day. That's coming, Ryan. So Ryan, what we've got coming in our, what we call autopilot mode is you'll be able to enrich data from a website. So you take somebody to the page, they put their name, email, and website in. The bot in white label suite enriches the data, runs the script, sends it to GHL, and in 30 seconds knows who the client is and does all the work. It's coming. Um, it's going to be amazing. So guys, again, thank you for, for joining me. Two and a half hours on a Saturday or Friday evening for you guys. Um, we love you and we want you to succeed. <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Johan. Hey, Mr. Hey, Mr. Walt. How you doing? You, you are the best. You are absolutely Thanks, the best. Man. Thank you so much. I've, oh. I've, I've missed the training, but I've got people messaging me <laughs> um, saying, can you please uh, talk about what's included in the, if they sign up via our links for, and what's included in enterprise? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. So white level, like, let me drop, I'm going to drop four links in here, you guys. Whitelevelsuite.com is the start of all of those links. And it is whitelevelsuite.com forward slash closebot, whitelevelsuite.com forward slash uh, synthflow, which is our AI voice. Um, hey, well, to save you the trouble, forward slash resources. That's hey! All. all right. So there you go. Thank you, sir. Forward slash resources. Um, man, I'm I'm already here. I, I had the last one done. And Kyle, you're just too fast. <laughs> DHL. Um, <laughs> These are the four I'll let you bots. finish it. It's all good. These are the four bots that we use. Um, what do you get if you sign up through our link? Our love and respect. We get a commission because we're referring clients and programs that we love. Um, and we'll help you out as much as we can. We'll give you all of our templates. Um, so we'll give you a that's that's the part of the deal with Closebot. Tell them the white label suite sent you, and they'll give you the bots, they'll put them in your system. You don't have to build it for yourself. Synthflow the same. We'll give you our scripts, we'll give you our knowledge base, we'll give you all that stuff. Um, now you don't have to go through our affiliate links. We love it if you do, because you know it adds to our revenue. The price is the same, so you can go direct to Synthflow and sign up, or you can go to our link and sign up and if you do we get a commission and we say thanks very much um and we will happily you know look after you and keep in business and keep serving um and give you all our scripts and templates and stuff like that synth flow training is going to be booked in haji i think probably the same time next week um i'll make sure i'm awake and done and prepared um so what's included in the enterprise package everything you just seen set up and done for you what you get is a done for you ai lead selling machine so you get all of the install done. You get your own branding set up. You get the white label outreach program going. You get um, you get uh, uh, emails being sent. You get SMSs. You get the voice um, calling done. You get uh, you get everything. So literally, like Reggie, like Dave Black, uh, who else have we got on the call? That's an enterprise client. Um, like our team here, who have said, "Listen, not having this costs me more than." It could, uh, than I could think. So just do it for me. Um, we are currently, currently, not for very much longer because we're getting swamped already, um, not charging a setup fee. So you have zero setup fee. It is 999 per month or 997 per month. Um, and uh, Kyle has just put the link up there. It's whitelabelsuite.com forward slash enterprise. If you do, again, guys, this is not, this is a training session, not a pitch, but since we were asked, um, this allows you to go and do it and get it. We just, we deliver you back a working system. So we deliver you back a, a clone of what we've built with Prospect Falcon, where leads get qualified, nurtured, followed up. All of the workflows are done, tested. All of your voice is loaded into the, um, the bots, everything working. Plus we actually do support for our enterprise clients as well. So we do the support where um, uh, if a client has a question, they're actually coming to us. And we'll answer the questions for you up to your first hundred customers. Um, so that's part of the enterprise package as well. So we set everything up, do everything for you, get everything running. You don't have to lift a finger. All you need to do is go and have another conversation with a client. Um, and so we'll have it all running. It's 997 a month. We support 
your clients as well. Give your brand, everything like that. Done. Um, nine nine seven, not not ten grand a month, but nine nine seven, Jonas. Um, and the other thing with enterprise that um, that Johan and Kyle and I have been working on as well is that we will also be your fulfillment house for any four bot systems that you sell. What does that mean? That means, so you'll get your full branded lead generation software up and working, right? But what we want you to sell is the four bot system for a thousand a month. We want you out there selling it. And as an enterprise customer, we will also be your white label fulfillment house for that. So you can sell it for 10 grand set up and 2000 a month. And you can just pay us in the background and we'll do it all for your client. So you can just go out and make more sales of the four bot system and we'll be your fulfillment house. All right. So enterprise customers get us as their tech team. If you like, you can go out and sell the four bot system, the leads plus GHL plus close block plus synth flow set up knowledge base, Mr. Customer receptionist sales qualifier, all that you can sell it and we'll deliver it for you under your brand. Um, so that's the enterprise kind of upsell piece. We will let so you, you use us. Are you talking about onboarding? Um, yeah, so onboarding is part of the of the done for you setup. So we've got, um, Mr. Kyle, is onboarding it, of our clients. Like I sell something to somebody else, you're going to do the onboarding for it, right? So caution, just just making sure I'm clear, Stacey. If you sell the leads tool, all of the onboarding is included in the enterprise. So we we set up the we've got it all done. It's right. all digital. But if you sell the four bot system, um, we'll build it. So we might. Uh, we, we need to ask you, do you want us to represent you or do you want to be the customer's contact? If we're representing you, then yes, we'll onboard them. We'll do the interview and get the knowledge base. We'll do all that kind of stuff. And you would literally just introduce us as your tech partners. Um, and we'll do all of the, the steps from there. But that's the, the piece. Now, again, we charge for that. So every single client is a $5,000 setup and a thousand a month. As a white label fulfillment partner, you can put your own margin on it. So you can charge it for seven and a half thousand dollars setup and fifteen hundred dollars a month. As long as you're paying us the the piece that we're asking for, you get to keep the profit and do nothing. So as I an enterprise, yep. I I uh I did that presentation yesterday, right? And quoted them twenty grand set up in two thousand dollars a month. <clears throat> knowing knowing the numbers that you had right there, right? So I mean, and, in, and, Robert, and that client, that client was engaged and we've got follow-up meetings coming up next week. Amazing. So cool. So amazingly cool. Um, and there it is guys. So Robert, as a, as an enterprise customer had a meeting yesterday, showcase the full bot system. And by the way, we give you a full bot system presentation and all that kind of stuff is done as well. So you can sell it and then you can charge what you like. As Robert said, 20 grand to set up. We, we even talked about like a minimum wage staff member in the US at $15 an hour costs a business $30,000 a year just in wages, plus dental, plus medical, plus holidays, plus, in, you know, all of the other stuff, plus recruitment costs, plus they have a day off, plus they're chatting to their friend on Facebook while they should be working. So all of those costs of a $30,000 employee are the minimum. So when Robert's talking about a $20,000 setup and $2,000 a month, it's a freaking bargain because that bot will work at a hundred times the volume. You'll have a receptionist, a qualifier, a booker, a salesperson, an AI system, a lead generation program, an email program, a CRM system, bing, done, it's easy. Um, so we pay you a thousand a month and 5K uh, and a thousand a month to set it up. Yeah, Brian, so if you want us to be your fulfillment house, that is available. If you want to be the person doing all of the setup and stuff, just use the tools yourself, Closebot, Synthflow, GHL, White Level Suite. You can go, you can, you can go and sell this. And that's what our whole thing has all been about. We're seeing people just throwing credit cards at us. Just get us started, get us going. We're saying to people now, we our wait list is now three weeks. We'll be like, it's it's explosive, right? What we want, we want you to go and sell this. Get yourself a white label clothes bot. Get yourself a white label synth flow. You've probably already got a white label GHL. You've got your white label suite license. You've got the four bots. Go and sell it as a package deal with the enterprise. If you want us to be the fulfillment house, just pay us on a client level and you can mark it up to whatever you want. Uh, and we just do all the work. So up to you. So, hey, hey, well, I'll, I'll yeah. let you catch up with a couple of questions there, but uh, if you can just check the chat. In the meantime, guys, just so you know, we do not want to do fulfillment. So I've been telling everybody, 
we want you guys to build, if you're focused on one niche, then you'll have all the templates. You'll have all the systems. You don't have to pay us anything. We don't want to, we don't want to do this. We're doing it so that we can get you guys set up and running. Once you focus on one niche, then you can you have all the templates. You have everything. You don't need to pay us that money anymore to do setups. You take take the whole, you know, whatever you're charging them for the setup, take that. If if you've got the system for them, you can just add credits to your system. We want you guys to be fully independent. We want you to build this business so that it becomes a saleable business. You know, you plan the exit in a couple of years so that you can do that. We're making it as cheap as possible. People asking about, you know, how much does SynFlow cost, GHL cost? We, we bundled all that in into the price so that it's cheaper to get it from us if you wanted to go down that route. If you're a person who's focused on sales and just want to do sales, that's the best route. If you don't want to do any of the tech stuff, we can do that for you. But 100%, so many of you on here are agencies who have fulfillment, who have team, who can do that. We want you to do that. Go for it, Mr. Walt. Yeah. You guys, you guys, if you you have the skills, you have the magic already in you. What you need to do is go and have conversations. So, um, make that happen, guys. Um, two and a half hours in. Again, thank you for bearing with me as I've built it with you as we go. Um, thank you for your understanding that, and I appreciate everybody turning up. Hopefully, it's been good value. We'll make sure that this is available in our um, members area and YouTube channel and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, and you guys are amazing. You have everything right there at your fingertips. Do whatever you need to do and have more conversation up uh, and get out there into the marketplace. People are just falling over themselves um, for this stuff. So guys, uh, thank you, Kevin. appreciate it. Um, guys, you're welcome. Great to see you. Yes, we'll do a Synflow training in the same way, show you how to set it up, show you how to connect it all, um, give you the templates, give you the knowledge base, all that kind of gear as well. Um, and again, let's go, Dave. Uh, welcome on board, Dave Black, as an enterprise client, um, onboarding for Monday. And that's it. We're good. You're awesome. Thanks, guys. Kyle, you and I are catching up, but I need five minutes just to get, get my voice back. All right. Thank you, everybody. See you Thank soon. You. Thank you, Mr. Thanks, Thanks everyone. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye.